I go? Oh, my gosh. You didn't do anything. Bye. Uh, Bobby did it all yesterday. That is cool. Uh, and Dame. Uh, Brad Nortman, longtime NFL punter. Second place, Brad. Uh, what did I miss? A lot. I, I I recorded a drinking song. Heidi, that was Heidi, a lot of fun. Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. That was a lot of uh, fun. I'm a big Whose Line Is It Anyway fan. I knew you would be. I yes. knew you would be. I, I, I really it, appreciated I just, that. And if I you, felt it. If you miss Brad's Irish uh, drinking song uh, for KBN and the Green Bay for Packers, Friday. on Friday you can find that, I believe, on YouTube as well. Uh, and you put it on Twitter. I going did. everywhere. I did. I'm trying to drop my single. And, and by the way, Kyle being active and being like making his presence felt at a Bucks game courtside, it's the least surprising Kyle Wallace revelation oh, wow. in my Man, life. Oh, wow. Man, this is great. Look at me blushing. If I would yeah. be brother. You know what I'm when people had like a picture of the game, he'd be like, hey, look at me go. Yeah, yeah. I was there. I was right there. No. You me? I, I, I saw in people's photos, I saw myself in the background on court. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I just want to let them know that I see me in their photo. I, you know, so we can acknowledge it together. There's been a lot of me, 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 me going around Wisconsin sports and it was uh, Devondre Campbell. Uh, Devondre Campbell who was outspoken for the Green Bay Packers this past season about not wanting to play unless he's 100% healthy. Um, He went on a tweeting spree. He basically uh, tried, in my opinion, to help his reputation as a player after he was an all-pro three years ago and didn't have great seasons to this contract that he was given after that all-pro season, in my opinion, the last two seasons. And uh, clearing up some things from his perspective, uh, but I call the Wambulans alert here when I see uh, an NFL player going on a tweeting spree, making excuses for their performance. Especially after um, you see the defense actually play somewhat decent in the back half of the season, and his name still wasn't mentioned uh, a lot in the playoff run and uh, the end of the regular season. So, Brad Nortman, our longtime NFL player, uh, you've been in a situation in the locker room where, you know, you maybe were asked to do something for your team. Maybe it was the Panthers. Maybe it was the Jaguars that weren't necessarily going to help you down the line. So you empathize here with Devondre. I do empathize, man. I had flashbacks. And real quick, I'm sorry. Uh, Alex Strofe running the show today, 844-770-3776. That is proof that he is Mr. Irrelevant. I forgot to give him a shout-out until four minutes into the show. Yeah, I mean, I did have flashbacks. When I saw Devondre Campbell's tweet, I felt like I was right back in my playing career. Because I was asked to do this more times than I can even remember, particularly Dang. with the Jacksonville Jaguars, my last season there. Uh oh, I smell some ambulance from yeah, Brad. That's right. I'm, oh, wow. I'm still Shots bitter. Fired. I'm still bitter. I'll say it. So I didn't go on a 21 tweet rampage. I kept it all to my, my, my humble self. But basically, guys, this happens all the time in an NFL locker room. I'm telling you this much. There is something that is out there of being don't be a stat guy. And you are called out if you are a stat guy. You are, it is something that is like a badge of shame if you look at if the coaches sniff that you're not doing what it takes for the team to win. And for my quick history of with it, I mean, for the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2017, we had an elite defense an average offense, and a solid special teams. And the game plan was we need to contain the opposing offense as much as we can, keep ourselves in the ball game, don't give up big plays. And can so I all- translate as, as a not NFL player? Yeah. Brad, don't kick bombs. Don't kick 50 to 60-yard bombs. We'd rather you hit 45 to 50-yard punts that might go in the corner or out of bounds Fair catches. to make sure that we don't have an explosive play against us. Yep, we cannot give up a punt return, cannot big up, give up big plays in punt return. So I was asked to hang it high. I was asked to put it on the sideline. And then at the end of the year, and I was even told, I was like, look, this isn't going to look good for your stats, but we got you. We know what you're doing. Mm. But don't. But you're not a stack guy. We're in this for everybody to win and succeed. At the end of the year, I was released. They drafted a young rookie. And part of the reason they said was, look, I mean, your stats just weren't as good as they were the year before. And, you know, with, with your high cap hit, we're going to go a different direction. I was thinking to myself, well, I'll be doggone. <laughs> I was, Not I'll, I'll be, be damned, but I'll, I'll, be no, no, I'll be doggone. I think you're ready to say so most. He, so, he definitely played for some teams so, in the South with that yeah. language. I'll be doggone. So to me, when I saw Devondre Campbell say this, it surprised me zero. This happens all the time in the 
NFL, and it happens to the players' discredit, and it harms them in their career. So a lot of vets will tell me, don't even listen. Just do you and play selfishly because that's all you have to worry about. So I felt for Devondre Campbell, and I, I guarantee – he had the same thing. The coaches were saying, don't be a stack guy. Don't be selfish. This is what you're looking to try to do. So I think there's credence. I think there's a lot of truth in all those tweets. It actually gets me excited for what the rest of the defense might do in future years. But I feel for my guy, Devondre. Yeah, I'm ex- I'm on the team, Devondre Campbell. You know sure. why? It's because what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to sit here and discredit him as a disgruntled veteran or a guy that lost a step and now he's just upset that he no longer is with the team. No. I believe everything that he said. And when it comes down to it, he did play at a high level, and he said himself, he played at a high level when he was doing him, and he got all pro. And the thing that made me believe Devondre even more is before – we didn't have any issues with him being a legitimate player or a legitimate person. He was a Walter Payton Award nominee for the Green Bay Packers. We always thought he was a positive person in the locker room as well. And then he also said in one of those tweet tirades that he went on is he said that he had to talk to Matt LaFleur. And finally, once he talked to Matt LaFleur, the defense started playing better. Now, what did Matt LaFleur say he did about the uh, two quarters down through the season. He started having more of a hand in the defense. He talked about being able to be take a, a more aggressive approach on the defense. That is exactly what Devondre Campbell said when he started having private meetings with Matt LaFleur. So I have no reason to believe that Devondre Campbell is making all this up or he's some old mad veteran. I truly believe that Joe Barry is the reason why the defense did not play well. Joe oh, Barry was congrats. the person... Joe Barry was the person putting a lot of Packers players in a bad position. And Devondre Campbell, just like my big my friend over here, uh, Brett, Brad Nortman, <laughs> were put in situations where coaches asked them to do things for the betterment of the team. And when they did that, the team sat here and ignored what they asked them to do. So I think Devondre Campbell is absolutely okay going on this rant. I'm glad that he's being honest and telling his truth and allowing for us who this whole year were upset about the defense, trying to figure out what was going on behind the scenes. Well, guess what? For once, we actually get to know the truth that we don't have to wait for a book or years later to find out what happened. So I applaud Devondre Campbell for letting people know exactly what happened. And one quick thing I want to add. The first year that he played for the Packers, when he was all pro and he was unbelievable, that was a one-year, $2 million prove-it deal. The guy hasn't signed at that point a big contract of any sort. Up till that point. So in that year, when he took a more selfish, I'm going to be me, I'm going to put my stats out there type of approach, he was able to do it. The last couple of years when he was on his big deal and he was trying to be the team player, his stats struggled. So, you know, yes, he's getting older and whatnot, but I, this has to play a huge role in it. I've seen it time after time. I myself was a victim of it. Yeah, I, I can feel it. So I do want to at least read one of these tweets uh, from Devondre Campbell. There's a we lot don't have of audio. A lot. Um, because this is the one that I find fascinating. Uh, shout out to Alex Strofe, who put this up on YouTube. Um, what changed from 2021 to 22 and 23? Because the scheme sure felt worse every year, and we all know the coach in charge wasn't making any changes. Devondre commented, uh, former Packers uh, inside linebacker, listen, if, we, if I would have listened to half the stuff they were telling me, I would never have went all pro. All I heard was, can you do this? It will help the scheme. I kept saying no all year, and what happened? First team all pro. Pro And so I I understand that it's easy to go back and play revisionist history, um, but all I know is when I look at Devondre Campbell, there is a a constant there. There is a constant of Joe Barry. You said Joe Barry wasn't putting Devondre Campbell in positions to, to be successful. I'll ask you this, Brad. If you, when you were playing, played however you would have wanted and not listened to coaches, do you think you would have been helping the team? Um... I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, I, I think I would have had more impact plays. I would have punted more selfishly. And I think that maybe there was an opportunity. Anytime you punt the ball further down the field, you're likely to get more net. But it exposes you to the possibility, if you don't have the squad around you, to make stops. To give up a so what I do know is that Devondre Campbell was an all-pro in 2021 under Joe Barry as the defensive coordinator. So if he was an all-pro under Joe Barry once, it's easy right now after you have two bad seasons for the Green Bay Packers to be like, well, I did what I wanted and ignored uh, the scheme, and I was an all-pro. Well, you know what could have happened? Maybe there's a middle ground of you going off and doing what you did to be great selfishly, to be an all-pro, but also do that within not the full scheme, but you helping the team, making 
quote unquote selfish plays and maybe making more impact plays because if I see him do it in 2021 to become an all pro, you don't you don't just lay down and be like, you know what? I'm just going to do whatever they say. I mean, as somebody like yourself, myself, and Brad. Because in 2021, we, they were the number one overall seed in the NFC. Sometimes what you have to do, you have to do what's best for your team. And what the coaches could say, or whoever, when they signed that contract with Devondre to bring him back and give him the extension, he earned it, right? They could have said, listen, we understand how great you were, but in order for this defense to grow, in order for this team uh, to get better, we need you to do this. We need you to do that. And so he probably said, listen. I got my money. I got paid. I know how talented I am, but let me put the team first because if my coach tells me by being a little bit slower to react to allow the safety to come downhill, that will allow for this defense to be better. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that the but defense it is wasn't better. working. But what? So but when it's not so when it's not working, so you want him gonna, to? Yeah, want to, I, I, want, I want him to make disobey, plays. Disobey his absolutely. Coaches? They're not going to bench him. They're paying him millions of dollars as an all pro to make plays. But you're, you're working. And their defense was. Crap! But you're working with 10 other guys that also have different jobs. Yep. So if your job is one thing, you've got 10 other guys relying on you to do your job, you're going to have to execute what's expected of you. Yeah, and, and how did him executing the same way work for this defense I, last well, year? It, for, led, it why, led to the coach getting that fired. Ain't, that but, ain't for him to decide. That led to the coach as, getting fired. As, and as he an got inside linebacker too. all pro, I'd like to think that he could have made an impact to help the no, team. No, you talking like, like he's Ray Lewis. Bit, he is Devon Dre Campbell. I, he, he only got so much He's talking like he's Ray Lewis. No, he ain't talking like Ray Lewis in these tweets. He just better act you like the it. truth. I'm just saying, every player, and Brad can speak to this, and you can speak to this too, Ben, every player can't just come in and tell people this is what we going to do. You know what I'm saying? You have to earn that respect. There's a level of respect that he earned, but still, obviously, in his head, he had that workman-like mentality where he worked his way up. It was probably felt blessed and fortunate to be able to get that contract, so he's still going to be a team guy more than he was a me guy. Well, that's a big thing. 3776 Again, uh, this is the ESPN Wisconsin Talk and Text Line temporary today as we will uh, uh, be running with Alex Stroh running the board out of ESPN Madison, 844-770-3776. Well, it's a big deal for you to go above your position coach, your defensive or offensive coordinator, to the head coach and file a complaint. That's what they did every single season, this defense. Every single season, one or more playmakers would go to Matt LaFleur and say, this is not a winning scheme. We need to be more aggressive. This is too conservative. That Don't take that lightly. That's a big deal to go above what is the equivalent of your commanding officer. So guys felt it. They were frustrated with it. They made their voices heard. I like KN, but I love KBN. Welcome back, Ben. I do, too. I love KBN, and you should, too. 844-770-3776. Are you on Team Devondre Campbell? Or I guess Team Joe Barry, which I hate to put my name on. Come on, now. There's, come on, now. You was on the fire, Joe. Now you're taking Joe's side. No, all I'm doing is the truth is somewhere in the middle, and you guys are making it seem like it's all... Joe Barry and the players got to take accountability for I know they can go up to the co- the head coach but you have to be man enough this is professional sports you have to go to Joe Barry and say hey look man you, the, the way you put me in the situation to wait a second to help the team and help the safeties come down it ain't working so I'm gonna have to do a little bit that might put our safeties in jeopardy to help this team because we're getting gashed and I'm hearing Matt LaFleur talk about our defense in a way that disrespects the way I feel not hearing it after the fact after after Joe Barry's fired, that is cowardly to me. 844 oh, wow. 770 wow. Yeah, it's easy fired. to go on social media and tweet 21 times. You think that? Wait a minute. Do it in the he moment. Went, he go did. talk to him in the moment. We'll talk about this on the other side. Kyle wants to defend Devondre Campbell, the guy who didn't want to play unless he was 100%. Good to put your name on that. More Kyle Bruston Ortman next. You're listening to Kyle Bruston Nortman. If I was as tall and as talented as you, if I could shoot as well as you could, both them teams would have won. Because oh, you know what? Okay. You got the you did a fake punch, you said, Nick Rose Bowl. Yeah. And I would have did fake point. I would have took it to the house. I would have scored a dang <laughs> touchdown. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Ben Brust here to tell you about the Princeton Club. I joined the Princeton Club because I was looking for a place I could invest in my health, and the environment and the community I have felt has made it so easy for me to incorporate it into my everyday life. It doesn't matter where you're at in your fitness journey because they have something to offer everyone. It also goes beyond fitness. From the moment you walk in the club to the moment you walk out, there is a togetherness felt throughout the members and staff that keeps you going for your better tomorrow. Don't wait any longer and get started on your fitness journey today at PrincetonClub.net. That's PrincetonClub.net. Progressive presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. 
today's MVP, Emily Neal's 70-inch TV. Because after watching her second grade students yell at each other for hours, there's nothing Emily enjoys more than watching super rich housewives also yell at each other. Why? Because those women are not her responsibility. And that's why her TV is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Individuals and businesses with tax problems. Listen carefully. If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, U.S. Tax Shield can help you take back control. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Our team of tax attorneys can stop collections and get you protected. U.S. Tax Shield offers a price protection guaranteed quote to get you protected today. U.S. Tax Shield is A-plus rated with the BBB, so call 800-494-6139. U.S. Tax Shield, 800-494-6139. Listen to Madison Money Guy every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. on 100.5 ESPN and ESPNWisconsin.com. I like to refer to inflation as the silent killer. It's an invisible risk. It's just the idea that things get more expensive over time. You're going to need milk and eggs when you're in your early 60s and when you're in your early 80s. You're going to get a loaf of bread and it's going to be more expensive 20 years from now. Christian Finfrock is the Madison Money Guy. Call him today at 208-1800. It's Chevy truck season, and there's no better time to do what you do best. No better time to get the job done in a Chevy Silverado with best-in-class standard torque and a Turbomax engine with a five-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty that outlasts both Ford and Ram. So kick off whatever your thing is season right, because it all starts with a Chevy truck. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Based on latest competitive data, excludes other G vehicles, whichever comes first. See dealer for limited warranty details based on Ford and Ram 5 year 60,000 mile warranty on gasoline engines. If you're an employer looking to tap into the next strong generation of local prospective employees, then you can't miss this. 95.3 WBEV ESPN Beaver Dam and DailyDodge.com will be hosting the South Central Wisconsin Career Expo on April 23rd. From 9.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Beaver Dam High School Fieldhouse, businesses will have the opportunity to meet with hundreds of eager juniors and seniors from area high schools, as well as adult job seekers. Employers can find more information and purchase a booth on the Career Expo page at DailyDodge.com. Come see Thanalysis live from Potawatomi Casino Hotel on Friday, March 22nd. Hey, welcome to another Thanalysis show. And we do have coming up in today's podcast. Be there for the first ever live show for Thanasis as he's joined by his brother, none other than the Greek freak, Giannis Adedokounmpo. I took off my shoes and I was like, go crazy, go hoop. That's that's all it was. Stay tuned for info. Tickets are on sale soon. Thanalysis live in Potawatomi Casino Hotel on Friday, March 22nd. Time to start thinking about a summer job? Jesse Nelson here, and Madison School and Community Recreation is now hiring for many positions, including day camp and youth program leaders, outdoor adventure staff, support staff for individuals with disabilities, sports instructors and officials, and more. Full and part-time positions with daytime and evening hours are available. No matter your interest, schedule, or location, there's a position for everyone. At MSCR, you can make an immediate impact in the community and gain meaningful experience. Start your summer adventure today. Apply at MSCR.org. This is Kyle, Brust, and Nortman, sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand. How many days did I spend thinking about how you did me wrong, wrong, wrong? Lived in the shade you were throwing till all of my sunshine was gone, gone, gone. And I couldn't get away from ya. In my feelings more than Drake, so yeah. Your name on my lips, tongue tied. Free rent living in my mind. But then something happened one magical night. I forgot Kyle that you Brust existed. Kyle and across ESPN Wisconsin. I'm Ben Brust, back with the guys after being out. And I'm happy about it. Um, this may sound horrible. Mm. I had a sickness that went away. But I was trapped Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I couldn't leave the house. And I wanted to get, like, just do something. I feel like work has been the most fun I've ever had going to work in my entire life. I've never loved work so much until today. Well, it's good to have you back. We can full. We can tell there's a full tank of gas. Yeah, there is a full <laughs> tank of gas right now. Um, and I'm not going to be Devondre Campbell. I'm not oh, going to make excuses for oh, my performance. Come on. You are, you, are, you are insufferable. Like, right now, the fact that you are being this hard against an athlete, this is what I don't understand, right, is for literally multiple years, 
We have talked bad about Joe Barry and his defense. We have talked about the fact that we need to fire Joe. We have talked about, as Brad said, about players being disgruntled, Jair Alexander being upset, Devondre Campbell being upset, guys being upset. And all of a sudden, after we do took, something about it, they, there's only so much you can do. Brad tried to tell you, as our former NFL player, there are 11 guys on the football team, and in order for a defense to work for the most part, you need everybody moving in unison. Devondre Campbell probably did lose a step, but Devondre Campbell ain't good enough to be an All-Pro three years in a row. I'm just going to say it right now. He ain't good enough, and then on top of that, he just cannot disobey his defensive coordinator like that, Ben. So I don't understand how we went from saying Joe Barry was a scrub, bad coach, put players in a bad position, to say, oh, when Devondre Campbell speaks out, he's just a disgruntled vet. No, he is telling you like it is. He is giving us inside information, and you should be thankful for it. When you see those 21 tweets, you don't think don't you do something for You me? don't think there's any gray area in how Devondre Campbell is putting out. That's the truth. No, I think that's the is, gospel. I mean, because here's the that's thing. That's the gospel. You believe anything that the disgruntled vet who said he wasn't going to play for your Green Bay Packers unless he was 100% healthy? Because he was sick and tired of them trying to blame him for certain things. And this is what I like about it as well. When somebody you should put this on Matt LaFleur. When, when, no, I, you should be mad at Matt. Now, I you am, should be mad I, at Joe no, Barry. No, you no, should no, be mad at I, Matt LaFleur. I'm mad at both, but I'll say this. I appreciate the fact that he said Quay is talented. Quay was being put in a position not to succeed. He is going to be okay. So he wasn't dragging the organization. He wasn't dragging his teammates. Hey, can he even drag Matt LaFleur? We all know who the veiled shots were at there at Joe Barry. Yeah, and I just think about everything that I've heard in the locker room. I mean, being a stat guy really is a badge of shame. They really try to avoid against it. Coaches try to, because they know that players are incentivized to gather stats, right? That's how they're paid. And you're trying to get everyone to row in the same direction to play a team game when you're being paid individually. So it is a constant battle for coaches to try to get guys to play as a team. I felt it. Plenty of other guys felt it. I mean, Ben, what if you were on a basketball system where the whole game plan was mid-range jumpers? Mm. No threes. Mm. Like, we are not doing threes. The whole offense is based around not taking threes. You would say, I'm not being put in the right position. So, so, so we wouldn't know who Ben Bruss okay, was. No, we so wouldn't. so, so now, now, now watch your, your mouth over there to the left and let me respond to Brad if I am in that situation I have the same um, the same four guys are relying on you I get it be in the be. system but if I am Devondre Campbell right I'm supposed to be an all pro I'm supposed to be a leader of the defense if the time was right and the moment was there I would shoot a three because if I'm if I made it the, no, Joe Barry and Matt LaFleur are going to say, oh, I can't believe Devondre Campbell made a play. So if, Bo, if you did something like that, shot a three. If the, okay, here's a great so, example. So it's, if it's the not shot, comparable because no, Bo no, isn't no, Matt LaFleur and no. Joe Barry. That's my point. Like, I have the, bad, if I had the same leash. No, listen to this. If the shot clock was at 30 seconds, because it was 35 when you were still playing. Oh, gosh, it was. Oh, and no, so if the shot clock ball. was at 30 seconds and you came down and jacked up a three, what would Bo Ryan do? He'd be fine with it because I've earned my way to shoot that shot. You oh. could literally ask him. No, he, he'd want you to milk you, it, you want get me to, pass, you want me to get an open shot. No, a, I mean, a fully open shot. Uh, if if I if I would only shoot that if I was in rhythm. He I never was benched for taking a shot. I was only benched for thirty seconds turning the ball over at thirty seconds. Really five seconds into yes, play clock. I've how, shot I've shot how, one on four before and missed it. He won't pull me. There's a reason why. I earn that trust, and if you earn that trust as a player, you should be able to go outside the realm of what the scheme is if you make the play. Now, if you don't make the play, uh -huh. that's a different conversation. Okay. But my point is, is if he is an all-pro and he's been in that scheme, he should have the ability to go make those plays, and if he doesn't, guess what? They aren't going to take him out. They weren't going to put somebody else in over Devondre Campbell. So he had the ability to go outside of what they were asking him to do, be selfish at times, not all the time. He said it himself. Just... He was selfish, and he became all all pro and then he did then he claims to have gone all scheme and didn't play as well there has to be a middle ground and him just complaining after the fact makes me sick well, look there's probably is a middle ground i just think that middle ground is tilted in devondre campbell's favor because if he were to go rogue maybe take a more risky more i'm gonna go make a play it's gonna leave a ho open hole in the defense yeah and, and i do we, we we have our sides right we we've gone very clear on what we believe here i want to bring in alex Strofe the producer of today's show on Kyle Bruston Norman. After hearing the arguments from the opposing uh, sides of the court, where do you rule on this? I'm, I'm Team Benny. I'm with you, Brust. It hurts. It pains me to say, but I'm with you. You win. Why, why so? 
Uh, look, I just I, I'm very frustrated. I'm not frustrated with Devondre Campbell for airing his grievances and and stating why he believed he was misused or mistreated in Green Bay. No problem with that. But the lack of accountability for a guy that had one good year in his eight year career is just <laughs> it, it, it it shocks me. Accountability is important, he, and he's taking he was none. on the street, right? And, and and the Packers took a chance on him, and he didn't perform. And that's part of that's part of what happens. He performed. So, and- I'm just absolutely, I'm absolutely baffled by the fact that we're sitting here acting like Devondre Campbell did not wasn't a serviceable football player for us, especially in that first year. And the fact that he basically we're saying his word isn't legit. You guys are so concerned about his performance and and him being upset than what you are That's of all the reality that matters. behind the scenes. All that matters the, is but, performance. But what he because his performance wasn't here, it does not discredit what he is saying. Yes, that's a great point because we've seen these allegedly high draft picks not flourish in the system. We know Jair Alexander is a talented player. He hasn't flourished in this system. You oh, have to, he's you flourished have to when least, he's played. You have to at least admit. We can't this use is, Jair as an example for this. How about you have to at least admit more than 51% is due to Joe Barry. Even if even if it's not I'm fully fine black with white, that. I, I am fine with that. But the way that Kyle's taking this conversation is it's all Joe Barry and Devondre Campbell's not at fault. And this is a guy that was on a practice squad and the Packers took a chance on him. He played well for one year, got a big contract, and then what? Well, the 49ers signed Blaming him. Blaming the team yeah, for the 21 tweets. Going to the, the 49ers that represent the NFC in the Super Bowl, going to have him probably try to replace uh, Green Drew Dre Greenlaw. Good luck. Who went? Who, I mean, we'll, we'll definitely see, and I'm sure he's going to have a better coaching staff than what he had with Joe Barry. If for anything, sure. I hope the Packers run into him because uh, Josh Jacobs will have a field day after he blames whatever scheme they have for him not making plays in San Francisco. We'll get him out in the slot against Jaden Reed. Oh man, matchup one on one. I would love that. <laughs> I don't. Be- point, I don't believe. Point, Brad. Hold. If this was pardon my take or not, pardon me, uh, around the horn. Yeah. Right, they do around the horn. Mm. Oh, yeah. Points for a good point. Gosh, it was a Devondre Campbell on Bijan. It was uh, on Bijan yeah, and on uh, Devonte Adams, I believe. He definitely was on Bijan. Got cooked. So I'm re- I'm really excited to do this. Uh, be back with the guys. Sweat my brains off in a really small studio right now, but also have the chance to talk to Thanasis on a Kumbo. Uh, TALiveshow.com, Giannis and Thanasis are going to be live in person Friday at Potawatomi Casino Hotel. Mm. You're going to hear from Thanasis coming up next on Kyle Brust and Norman. You're listening to Kyle Brust and Norman, KBN. Craig Council bobblehead that was given away, and we, uh, you know, just did a nice, uh, I don't know, soliloquy? Is that the right word? Yeah, like a montage. Like a ver- Virgil. Vigil. 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 <laughs> a vigil. We did a vigil. Vigil. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. You can drive cutting-edge design. 2024 Audis are on the lot and ready for delivery. You can save $7,500 on select Audi EVs with the AFS EV lease bonus. See dealer for details and exclusions. Eligibility is subject to credit approval through Audi Financial Services. Cannot be combined with national customer credit. Offer expires April 1st, 2024. Stop in and test drive today. Check out our website to see our current electric vehicle inventory and our monthly specials. The search for your Audi begins and ends at Zimbrick Audi of Madison. Off the Beltline and Rimrock Road. Drive yours today. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with over 3 million active members. They are the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. All you do, pick more or less on a two to six player stat projection and watch the winnings roll in. Whether it's tournament season or the fight for playoff home court, there's no shortage of high stakes basketball moments this time of year. Prize Picks even offers injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets hurt. For basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, prize picks will have your back and not count that as a loss. Prize picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Prize picks also offers weekly promotions and special offers for the biggest moments in sports. Download the app today and use code WI for a first deposit match up to a hundred bucks. That's code WI on Prize Picks for a deposit match up to a hundred bucks. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. 
The pulse of the Milwaukee Bucks, straight from a Bucks legend. Can't get it off. Marcus Johnson will, though. Can't leave him alone for a 12. Tap into Here District with Marcus Johnson on Bucks Plus. Marcus and his son Chris offer a weekly beat on Bucks basketball. Get your questions answered and hear from the biggest names in basketball. Find Here District with Marcus Johnson at bucks.com slash plus on the Bucks app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, hungry? And your heart is ticking for chicken? Well, take a quick turn and a quick trip. Because we got no ordinary chicken. Yeah, go wild with wings. Next level super wings. With trusty sidekick and sauces. Or let's talk tender. Quick chick tenders. Love me tenders. Mm, love me some quick tenders. Ours are bigger, better, tastier. Or if you're feeling good old school comfort fried chicken. We got it. Hand breaded down homier than anywhere. Quick trip. Saving your nuggets from ordinary. Spring will be here before. Before you know it, and so will Marco Siki's sixth annual Casting for Kids Fishing Tournament, Saturday, May 18th, on the Madison Chain of Lakes. Created to help children who are fighting cancer at American Family Children's Hospital, UW Carbone Cancer Center. There's a limit of 80 boats for a fun day on the water before 2.30 happy hour at Alliant Energy Center, a silent auction, dinner, and a live auction at 4 o'clock. Help us help the kids. Casting for Kids, Saturday, May 18th. Sign up or donate at castingforkids.org. Big trailers and big opportunity. Since 1962, Stoughton Trailers has been a family-owned and operated business. With competitive wages and excellent benefits, plus growth and advancement opportunities, Stoughton Trailers is an exciting place to grow your career. Join the collaboration, innovation, and dynamic team atmosphere at Stoughton Trailers. With positions now open in production, operations, finance, sales, engineering, supply chain, and more. Go to stojobs.com to apply today. Stoughton Trailers. Big trailers. Big opportunity. To those who've ever dreamt of their perfect event, those dreams are worthy and they are possible. Hi, it's Jeffrey from Celebrations Entertainment. With hard work, passion, and great music, we will make your event dreams a reality. Every event is a labor of love with one-on-one -on -one planning, customization, and flawless execution. Bringing your event to life is what we do. For a fun, memorable event, visit celebrationsentertainment.com. That's celebrationsentertainment.com. This is Kyle, Brust, and Nortman, sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand. Welcome back into Kyle, Brust, and Nortman across ESPN Wisconsin. I'm Ben Brust alongside the Packer Backer, the heartbeat of the show. And he was sitting courtside, fancy yeah, schmancy, know. Kyle little, little Wallace. Some, some, some. Uh, Brad Nortman, longtime NFL punter. Uh, second place Brad, lost in the Super Bowl, obviously. And we're excited to be joined now. I give them all their credentials, but I give better credentials to Thanasis Anadokounmpo. T.A., welcome into Kyle Brust Nortman. How you doing today? Man, thank you. Thank you guys for having me. I am uh, feel like... Today I'm I've been having a lot of highlights today, man. I'm in a radio station. I did that. I saw you actually saw you in the course like Look at that. Know. You saw me today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I heard you didn't say hi to him. Were you no, embarrassed was, to go say hi to him? No, no, no. He was doing his thing and now I gotta do my thing as well, like with the team. But wait, wait, I was doing my thing. You were doing your thing. I was just watching y'all do your thing. I, I started a little three point shot you was doing there with your boy. Is he an annoying fan? What kind of fan is he like courtside? No, was he was cool. cool. I, I kind of felt like in the beginning he was watching the game, you know, locked in. He was like, all right, what's, what's, what's going on? You know, just uh and try to help us get a win, man. Okay. Well, he's doing, he's Bobby, doing his part. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. I'm getting Bobby. hyped up. Yeah, I saw, I saw T.A. do a little three-point shot behind Pat Bev, and then I saw man. I saw Kyle start doing it after that. You're going to have everyone shooting gonna, with yeah, T.A. So I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what it is, too. So for some reason this year, I don't know, for some reason everybody's, like, dissecting whatever we do. For some reason. Like I've been doing, like, this is, we've been here, bro. We've been mm -hmm. doing this for a minute. And it started with the with the Dame game winner. I was in the bench. I don't know if you guys remember that. I went oh, yeah. Viral meme. Heard him on the podcast. Yeah, the the show. Podcast and, I, and I told him, I said, listen, now, if I'd have said, oh, I knew he was going in, everybody would have been like, come on, man. What do you mean he was going in? Like, everybody would have <laughs> stopped messing with me. But now that you see the picture, now you know I knew he was going <laughs> in. So that's funny, but it's more of, it's fun, it's camaraderie, it's belief. You know, that's all, that's all it takes from a team to 
you know, and just being together. That's it. Yeah, and we're really excited to have you because uh, this coming Friday, uh, the Finalis show is going live and in public, yes, and uh, it's an in-person event where you can purchase tickets. So go to TALiveShow.com and yeah. tell us about what makes this live show special because your brother is joining the podcast. Yeah. Did you have to bribe him? No, um, no. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's crazy. Uh, I had a they had an article and people were asking, how do you get all these guests to your podcast? And everything. I was like, I'm just a cool kid. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. But uh, it was mostly because I I just do it kind of different, you know. I kind of give an honest uh, conversation and no, I don't look for sound bites or like, oh, can, tell me a story or do this like stuff like that. And people feel comfortable because people are tired of just going to places and people ask asking them about like, so they can you know about sound bites so they can nitpick what they say. Uh, but other than that, like you can always obviously listen to stories and stuff like this. But uh, what I would say. Is I'm so happy to have him uh, this 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 season. Uh, next season I'm gonna have my other brother Costas, and then the season after that my other brother because I, I only have I get one brother uh, each season. <laughs> I also have a lot of brothers, so 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 that's fun. But uh, it's 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 a great event. You guys are gonna love it. You guys are gonna enjoy it. It's 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 uh it's it's something that's gonna bring us together. It's, it's for the it's for the fan base. I wanted to do this live, and it was only fitting to have my brother on it. And the people ask me about the, you know, the cost of the tickets or whatever. It's guys, it's forty three dollars, and the reason it's forty three forty three dollars is because of my jersey. It's oh, not, <laughs> yeah, it's not because I wanna. I don't care about that. It's more of like bringing people out there. And then obviously, if you listen to the next podcast and you get a code, it might be it might become thirty four, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and tickets are on sale right now to see Giannis and Thanasis live yeah. on stage on Friday night. Go to talivesshow dot com talivesshow dot com and get yeah. tickets before they sell out. Because you're going to see the brothers together. You just heard the man right here. Yeah. 43 bucks. It's family friendly. It's going to be at Potawatomi Casino Hotel Event Center. So when you go to the event center, just know all ages are welcome and families are encouraged. TALiveshow.com. TALiveshow.com. Man, I, are you guys coming? Are you guys going to be in the event? I'll be there. Yeah, yeah for I'm sure. Well, you we know. got we got to make sure uh, that, that they're on the approved list. Yeah, hundred percent. We're family yeah. now. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. of course. I I appreciate you guys. Thank you for bringing me on, as well. Uh, any any yeah. big news as it relates to the podcast? Uh, the you know, podcast. in the future. I I, I know uh, we got the live event, but what about that podcast? You just had you know, Jake Paul. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? You know what? It's it's you guys. I'll I'll say I'll give you a hint. Green Bay. Ooh, Green oh. Bay, stand Ooh. up. My Power. I'll, give you, I'll give you a hint. Green Bay, the next Thursday at 10. Uh, audio is probably might be uh, Wednesday night. But uh, visuals and video and interview on YouTube is going to be on Thursday, 10 o'clock probably. Ooh. Milwaukee time. Have what you done tease. radio before? I mean, that's a better tease than I've done <laughs> no, in my no, entire no, life. No, no, no. I've never done radio. But, I, you know, Mr. Craig has sent me so many uh, courses. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a very big uh and he did. I work hard, and I just kind of like go through them every day. But uh, you guys, so first I want to give you guys a kudos and respect because what you guys do is not easy, <laughs> you know, because it's it's hard to show up every day and and kind of have a, ni- a great demeanor and a big and nice. Uh, hey, they just got started. Let's not. Let's yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep kicking well, me up. Yeah. I like that. Me and Brad need that. Yeah, need it. Because you have to believe as well. People are listening. You know, people are listening to your voice in the radio. So it's kind of, it's, you want them to listen to somebody who's positive, happy, and, you know, and it's hard to bring that. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and we're joined by uh, Thanasis Anadokounmpo here on Kyle Brustin Nortman across ESPN Wisconsin. Ben Bruss, Kyle Wallace, and Brad Nortman with TA. Well, and Thanasis has been a huge hit. So give yourself some credit because uh, you are doing great and you're pumping out awesome episodes. Thank you, thank you. And I, I got to ask you, though, do you have a favorite episode so far that when people are hearing this, they're like, man, Thanasis sounds really good. I want to check it out. Is there one episode that you particularly were like, man, that was a great episode? Maybe one of your favorites? The live show for 43 bucks, TA. Uh, <laughs> that's show. true. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's. That's gonna, that's gonna be nice. I think uh, I don't know. I can't say just. There's right. been so many good ones. So, so no, no. But I don't consider all of them good ones. You, you gotta understand. It's like I feel like an artist. You know how ours makes a song, and he, to him, everyone was a hit. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. But you know, the audience gets to di- gets to di- dictate through views and, and audio downloads what what's what. But I think like even the one, the first one I did with Bobby. Shout out to Bobby Porter's man, underdog. You know, went crazy <laughs> last last night. He so hard as always. Uh, Bobby, Damian Lillard, uh, Tyler Donovan Mitchell for coming through. Um, 
obviously Jake Paul, Jake Paul, he kind of gives us a little bit of another insight of who he is. You know, I get the whole viral stuff, but like, he's a cool kid, man. He just like, but that's his, that's his demeanor. That's his thing. Speaking of Jake Paul, I mean, yeah. does he stand a chance against an almost 60 year old Mike Tyson? What you think? <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be 100 with you. Uh, I personally would not get in the ring with Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if he was 90 years old. I don't, I don't get in the ring with him. But that's just me. Yeah, right? me too, brother. Yeah, <laughs> same. That's just me. But I think he's created something special, man. And yeah. and Mike and Mike uh, realizes that. and recognizes that. He mm. brought him out of retirement. You know, he's creating something special for fans to see, for viewership, for for the boxing world, the excitement. And uh, I hope. W- you know, the guys are with the outcome. I just hope it's it's a better thing for for the sports and boxing. You know, he's a consultant for Team USA. Oh wow, wow. I didn't know Olympic that. Boxing, you, you hear that on the pod. That you can only imagine from him, you know, doing this all of a sudden, having to do consult for like uh, Team USA Olympic boxing and you know, like meditation wise and and walking through them through like moments because he's been through a lot of crowds. Even though he's starting now, mm-hmm. he's had big crowds on when, when he boxed. So one of those things. And TALiveShow.com is where you can buy the tickets to see Thanasis and Giannis together this Friday at Potawatomi Casino Hotel Event Center. And when I say that, remember, families are encouraged and all ages are welcomed. Uh, any surprises, any, anything special that you, uh, that you want to promote about Friday? And also let us know where people can get involved with the show. Obviously on YouTube, you do a great job yeah. promoting on your social medias uh, as well. If you wanna, if you guys wanna listen to it, obviously Spotify, Apple, whatever you guys get your podcast from, available in every platform. Uh, if you wanna watch it, if you wanna watch the interviews or YouTube analysis show, I've had some episodes that was in my on our family channel, but I switched it up just because I want, I don't want to create inconsistency, and I wanted to give you guys somewhere you guys can uh, call home for the analysis and always go watch it. Um, but feedback is always encouraged. You know, I wanna get feedback, good or bad. I, I love feedback and. Uh, because it makes me better, you know, and it's something special that I want to see what I'm going to be from in one or two years from now. So that's one. But uh, you guys are going to love. I think next episode you guys are going to love the episode. It's a big month for the, for the analysis. Green Mike Bay. Bay. Hmm. Mm, Green Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. It's, it's, it's going to be interesting. I think you guys I mean, A.J. Dillon it. just resigned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm sure that's what it is. You know, and uh, it's... It's one of those things that um, uh, I feel proud of, obviously. But the thing that makes me happy is the support I've gotten from Milwaukee, from people across, from people in Greece, people in the States. Like, I, it made me believe, you know what, it's, it's cool. Like, I want to do this, and, and it's fun. So, and I'm doing it my way, so that's the, even better. Yeah, and Thanasis, uh, thank you so much for joining us here on Kyle Bruston Nortman. Uh, lastly, before we let you go, uh, to all the Milwaukee Bucks fans out there, obviously uh, you've tasted what it's like to win a championship, and I'm sure you want to get that again. Uh, why should fans in, of the Bucks feel confident about what this team has going post All Star break? Uh, I don't have, you know, like the, the question is not work. You know, the, the the answer, I mean, I'm sorry, the answer is in our work ethic and our job and what we bring to the table. But one of the things I want to say to the fans is, like, guys, like, I want to see the hunger. Now, like, I talked to this on my podcast. I want to see the, the 50 years with no with no championship hunger back. Mm-hmm. We're going on a run. Mm-hmm. Come back. Mm-hmm. Like, I need you guys to make Pfizer Forum the most uncomfortable arena for somebody else to come play in. I want them to feel like, oh, my God, this is so unwelcoming to come play here, you know? I want to, I want to create that atmosphere. And, and anybody who's listening to this, you know, let let them know we're going on a run, and we're doing we're gonna do our job. But we want them, we need them. You know, not we want them, we need them. Mm-hmm. We it's need well them. You know, there is, there is a difference, and and we're gonna give everything we have. Everybody, Giannis, uh, Dame, Chris Middleton, uh, Bobby Portis, uh, Jay Crowder, AJ Green, Pat Connaughton, Brooke Lopez, all the young guys, myself. Uh, don't forget anyone. You just no, no, named no, the whole no, roster. The <laughs> whole roster, coach, everybody, the coaching staff. You know, I know it's been, a, it's been, a, it's I don't know, it's been a weird year, but we've made it. You know, we've we've kept our consistency. We throughout everything, and now it's 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 time. It's time. It's guys, it's time to get like, you know. And if we get a little bit aggressive, so be it. Yeah. But this is this is who we are. This is Milwaukee. This is just don't leave the bench. I don't want you suspended now. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we, 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 we're gonna keep our cool. We're yeah. gonna be all just fine. But I need the fan base to understand. Like this is Milwaukee. Yes. This is our, you know, this is our state, and we're gonna make this proud. 
Right? And plus, I don't want to. Okay, now the, now if I say, I'm gonna get in trouble if I say this. If I say this, say it. I think we. Okay, but I might be biased a little. Bit, but we deserve an all star. Yeah, yeah. We deserve 100 percent an all star. I saw the all star in India, and and it was so cool. Got me a little bit upset, but not upset because you know, congratulations to Andy. But got me upset. I was like, where? Why don't we have an all star mm-hmm. yeah. for for everything we've done for the sport for the for the NBA and and who brought here uh, guys like uh, Jans for years and and Dame and what we've done for the city and the city how the city is building out like. We deserve, and I don't care. People talked about the airport. People talked about like they're uh, holding the RNC here. They were going to hold the DNC here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Clearly, lots of people are going to be coming in for that. You can hold a, an All Star event. Yeah, hundred percent. And people talked about uh, like flights and international flights, something like that. About like you got you got to have a global airport. I don't care. Fly to Chicago. Who cares? I, this is that, that. My thing is, we've done. I think we've paid our dues when it comes to sport, and I do believe we need, we deserve an All Star. Also again, because it, and for the fan base, for the city, for the state, and I'm going to push for it as much as I can in every platform that I have, because apart from basketball, the basketball is one part, but I think that uh, and we do it the right way. We do it the right way. Put our heads down. Don't don't nothing. Just straight basketball, straight business, blue collar, blue collar city, and you know that's it. So. Well, thank you so much, uh, Thanasis, for joining us here on Kyle Brust Nortman. Lastly, I want to, again, let everyone know, because this has been really fun having him on the show. You can feel the energy. You can feel, you can feel the passion that he has for Thanasis' show. And you're going to be able to see him in person <laughs> with his brother. Mm-hmm. I mean, think about it. That's crazy. For $43. You probably have to pay 1000 to get to meet no, to him for a no. meet and greet. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, but the, the $43 is symbolic, guys. It's not... Uh, it's for the people who are going to be there, attendants and stuff like that, to be able to for the cost. It's not for the, not for us. Four hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Forty three dollars. No, no, no. Tickets are on sale now to see Giannis Anthanasis live on stage Friday night. So get your tickets. TALiveShow dot com. That's TALiveShow dot com. Limited tickets. Families are encouraged. Bring your young ones. Come see the brothers. You saw Giannis the Marvelous Journey. You've seen their story. They won a championship here. Now hear from them in person. TALiveShow.com. Thank you, Thanasis. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me, man. There it is. Thanasis on it. Kumpo. Kyle Brustin Nortman will be back across the ESPN Wisconsin next. This is Kyle Brustin Nortman. He now is now off his rocker saying it. Well, if I played. Choke yeah. artist. Choke artist, choke <laughs> artist, choke artist. That's what you both are. Yeah, I said it. You both are choke artists. Losers, choke artists. That's what you are. You're frauds, choked against TCU. You choked against Oregon. You choked <laughs> against Kentucky. You're choked against Duke. I can keep going. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. You ra ra. Fellow windows and doors of Wisconsin present your Badger Minute. Here's Alex Strofe. Varsity on Wisconsin On Demand is home to all the latest and best Badgers content on ESPN Wisconsin. Subscribe on Apple, Spotify, Wisconsin On Demand, and wherever you get your podcasts. For the 15th time in program history, the Wisconsin women's hockey team is headed to the Frozen Four. With a 4-0 win over St. Lawrence at Le Bon on Saturday, the reigning national champion Badgers have the opportunity to defend their crown this weekend in Durham, New Hampshire. Wisconsin will face off with Colgate in the Frozen Four, with the winner headed to the national championship game on Sunday. Clarkson and conference foe Ohio State will face off in the other semifinal. Puck drop between Colgate and Wisconsin set for 6.30 this Friday on ESPN+. Get no interest for up to three years at Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Don't wait. You have to order by March 31st. Visit PellaWI.com. Your Honda gets you everywhere. When it needs service, you need Zimbrick Honda service. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it yourself at two convenient Madison locations on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Honda certified technicians handle it all. You can even get flexible payment options. Fix your car now and pay later. Apply online to see your options in seconds with no hard credit check. Make your service appointment online at ZimbrickHonda.com. Zimbrick Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimbrick Honda. Come see Thanalysis live from Potawatomi Casino Hotel on Friday, March 22nd. Hey, welcome to another Thanalysis show. And we do have coming up in today's podcast. Be there for the first ever live show for Thanasis as he's joined by his brother, none other than the Greek freak, Giannis Adedokounmpo. I took off my shoes and I was like, go crazy, go hoop. That's that's all it was. Stay tuned for info. Tickets are on sale soon. Thanalysis live in Potawatomi Casino Hotel on Friday, March 22nd. 
Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company is a Madison original, brewing award-winning craft beers for nearly 30 years. Whether you're a fan of Pilsners, IPAs, Stouts, or Sours, the Dane's team of brewers always have something new on tap. Or if you're in the mood for a classic, enjoy the German Pilsner or Crop Circle Wheat. For a full tap list, head to one of their locations in Fitchburg, Hilldale, Downtown, or East Madison, or visit GreatDanePub.com. Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company, Madison's original brew pub since 1994. Glenn Whipperforth is the president of Kalsher Implement Company, Incorporated. Glenn, you've had copier printers from James Imaging Systems for years. Question, Glenn, is James just a vendor or more like a partner? I would say partner in the fact that they're looking at what we're doing and trying to work with us to make it simple for us. Making it easy, keeping it simple. That's James Imaging Systems' managed print services program. Yes, so we have a monthly contract and then they manage our inventory as far as our toner and equipment for the copier machine. Exactly. All your copier printers bundled under one low monthly invoice from James Imaging Systems. And that includes parts, service, and supplies. And that has its benefits, Glenn. The benefit is that we have the supplies when we need them, and it keeps our business flowing. Make it easy, keep it simple with the Managed Print Services Program from James Imaging Systems. Call 608-221-3457 or visit jamesimaging.com. James Imaging Systems, your local business technology partner. Hey, Drew Scott here. And I'm Jonathan Scott, reminding you that life's better with a home policy from American Family Insurance. They can help you get just the right protection at just the right price and help you save when you bundle home and auto. Kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It'll be just right for you. We love a custom build. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. You're listening to Kyle Bruston Nortman on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. No, don't get stressed. It's going to get figured out. Conversation that the world for us Hell is strong by the end of the term in my love Oh, that's why some nights we try to I want you to listen up because I got to tell you about my new favorite way to watch games by using the Underdog Fantasy Sports app, a pick em fantasy game where you win real money. It's easy to find in your app store and even easier to use. Here's how it works. Pick two to five players from at least two different teams and select higher or lower on those player stats. If your picks hit, you can win up to 100 times your moolah. Yes, it is that easy, especially with the hoop season hidden high gear with both college and pros. You know I'm I'm watching every game with the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. Right now, download their easy-to-use mobile app or visit underdogfantasy.com and sign up using promo code KBN. Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, they'll give you a mystery special pick to use on your first pick of entry. That's promo code KBN. Join me and get in the game with the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. Promo code KBN. It must be 18 plus and present in the state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concern with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgamble.com. Org. That's Kyle Wallace. I'm Ben Bruss alongside Brad Nortman. We are Kyle Bruss and Nortman across ESPN Wisconsin. Alex Strofe running the show. Uh, big thanks to Thanasis for joining us to talk about the Thanasis show. If you missed the interview, we'll have it up on YouTube. You can go to Wisconsin On Demand. Uh, get Kyle Bruss and Nortman wherever you get your podcast because Thanasis was great. And he talked about how Giannis is going to be joining him on Friday Ooh. for an in-person event uh, at Potawatomi Casino Hotel. You can get tickets at TALiveShow.com. $43. Not to break the bank, but, you know, 43 for his number on the jersey. Uh, family-friendly event. Uh, going to be awesome because how how often do you get to see guys that I watch on Amazon Prime, uh, guys that won uh, an NBA championship for the first time in 50 years? They've told their story. They're going to be in person together. It's honestly like we you got to see it. You do, and honestly, these are the one of the big, some of the biggest sports stars in the world. The Antetokounmpo name is the biggest name in the world when it comes to basketball, at least worldwide. And you know what? I've heard Thanasis on his podcast. He's excellent. There's a different level of electricity live. Just having him here in this. You feel interview, that? Don't you feel that energy? Feel with him? That, that's why I'm excited for Friday's show because live there's a different level of electricity. He's so engaging. He is. Like, he, like he like 
he, so he, That's gen- my homeboy he now. genuinely like we're talking into these microphones. He's such a good person that he wanted to look you guys in the eyes and sometimes got away from the microphone because he just like wants to connect with you. Yeah, he does. And here's the thing. Yeah, he's your he's your guy. That's my boy he now. Is. You know, that's what's up. You know, I've been loving I've been loving out the Kumbo family since uh two thousand and would would he be saying this if he didn't dap him up today, no, Brad? I, no, no, he did, but he went right to Kyle and dapped him up. I was I, like, dang. I want Kyle. To, yeah, you know, brothers gotta show love. But here's the thing, Giannis changed this city. He changed this organization. He changed this franchise. To have the opportunity to have Giannis and his brother and watch it live right right in front of us, be part of that atmosphere, that is incredible. A lot of people would love to have a sports player like Giannis to be able to go watch them live in their prime. That rarely happens. So definitely, definitely take advantage of that opportunity. I know I will. TALiveshow.com. That's TALiveshow.com. I'm looking at it right now. This Friday at Potawatomi Casino Hotel. Tickets are on sale for the public. Uh, definitely got to check that out. Thanasis and Giannis up on stage. And a special guest that has been unnamed uh, that I am excited to find out who it is. Uh, but what we do have coming up is Kyle Brust and Norman are going to be live uh, on YouTube at ESPN Milwaukee, at ESPN Madison. We'll continue on with 1430 ESPN Beaver Dam, 100.5 ESPN Madison. Uh, but coming up next on 94.5 ESPN Milwaukee is the Milwaukee Brewers in their spring training game. So we are going to be with you and Alex Stroh front of the show, 844-770-3776. Make sure you stay with us on YouTube at ESPN Madison at ESPN Milwaukee. Don't go anywhere. Panic strikes as you realize on Wednesday that Thursday is your anniversary. The reservations being secured. We'll see you at 8. The gift being purchased. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with early pay up to two days early on direct deposits. So even though they call you last minute Lisa, we'll make your last minute scrambling a bit easier. You've got this with early pay from Associated Bank. See associatedbank.com slash checking or ask a banker for details. Member FDIC. This is Derek Engler. You're listening to a Good Karma Brands radio station, 100.5 ESPN WTLX Monona, Madison. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studio, this is your Metro Kia of Madison Sports Center. Yeah, it is. I'm Alex Stroop. Your Sports Center update brought to you by the ESPN Wisconsin Bracket Challenge presented by Cousin Subs. Fill out a bracket in the ESPN Tournament Challenge app on ESPN.com. Use group code COUSINS, all lowercase, C-O-U-S-I-N-S, and you'll have a chance to win a $1,000 Cousin Subs gift card. Official rules at ESPNWisconsinContest.com. Brust, how much can you win to Cousin Subs? How much can I win? $1,000. $1,000? Yes, and, and, and here's the thing, Stro. Uh, coming up next on Kyle Brust Norman, I'll let you do your sports center. We will be discussing the fact that the Badgers and Marquette are in the same region. They can meet in the Elite Eight. Does that scare you? Uh, no, it actually excites me, but I don't think either team is going to get to the Elite Eight. Spoiler alert. All right. Well, I didn't say I was going to toss it to you during the show, so I'm glad you got your take out now. I, I did indeed. Five-seeded Badgers will play Friday night, 840 tip against the 12-seed James Madison. He mentioned it, Marquette, a two-seed in the same region. They'll play 15-seed Western Kentucky also on Friday at 1 o'clock. More KBN right now. Metro Kia of Madison, Madison's trusted Kia dealer. Stop into Metro Kia on the east side of Madison or MetroKiaOfMadison.com. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studios in Madison, this is Kyle Brust and Nordman, KBN. Sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin, ESPN Madison on YouTube, and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Kettle black. Uh, now, Strofe, you're a host now. You're, what is your official title at ESPN Madison? This is Alex Strofe uh, that I'm talking to, producing Kyle Brust Norman. That, that is my that, that, that is no. my name. 
What's what my is title? your work title? Uh, on yeah, air, uh, your work on title. air host content creator, I believe is my title. Nothing to do with producer. Kyle Wallace, what is your title at work? Uh, director of content. Uh, I don't even think I have on cool. air mind, but I am on cool. air and a producer. Cool. I, I, I no, see, cool. you're not a producer. I am cool. a producer. No. Ask Craig. I did cool. a hell of a job producing yesterday. You suck at producing. Craig himself, <laughs> the host of Sunday you're, Carmo, you're would say to, it. You're listening to and Craig. And you're trying to give Alex Strofe, who's producing our show, advice. I think I could have. I would have given him some great advice. You gave me bad, bad advice, but we're not going to get into that. Yeah, Brad Nortman, the keeper of peace around here at, on Kyle Brust Nortman, longtime NFL punter. Uh, man, you're you're not even in the crosshairs right now. It's, I, I was just feel? fully fully caught in all that crossfire right there. I was just catching strays left and right. I, I, I didn't even know what to do. Hey, you 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 need to defend me. Don't no, let no. the gang up on me. Oh, no, you got do this. not defend you him. This. You guys, can, you guys are no, you guys are big boys. You guys can figure it out. Okay, I see what it Brad's is. Brad's the only one who believes you know, in me around here. The only one who gives me Turn any sort of respect. Stroke, he's Turn in control. Of all I can turn your mic off. It's not how this works. <laughs> Yeah, actually, turn his mic off, Stro. <laughs> he can't turn off his mic and turn all of our mics. <laughs> um, so, Brad Nortman, um, I want to turn to you, uh, not to talk about Devondre Campbell and his tweets, because um, you are what I picture as the college basketball fan of, like, every person that doesn't actually follow it. Are you that person? Like, you follow the Badgers, maybe, but you don't watch college basketball. Like, are you that person? Then, tourney time, you're locked in. Yeah, tourney time, I'm definitely more locked in. I'll fill out a handful of brackets, but, like, let's be honest. If it's a random Tuesday night and Wisconsin's playing Maryland, I'm probably not tuning in. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you're you, in there. You, you are like Especially a, with all these like, yeah, stupid yeah, streaming. Yeah, I mean, a, I watched some of the, the tournament games this last weekend, and if it's a big matchup, I'll watch Wisconsin. But, you know what? I, I focus really this time of year. Year, so I'm a good proxy for the average college basketball casual fan. That's perfect. Uh, Alex Strofe and I are probably a little bit more on the we enjoy watching anything. Mm. I'm on the extreme side of um, if I'm doing the dream feed for my baby at 11 o'clock, I might be betting the second half of a uh, uh, UC Irvine, UC Santa Barbara <laughs> game. Oh, wow. um, so that that's me. And Kyle Wallace, you're a Badger fan, and you try and watch as much as possible. I think that's fair. I try to watch as much as possible that I can afford to watch based off the fact that I don't have all these streaming channels. But yeah. try I, I love when you when you cry poor. I am, um, I am crying poor. I'm sick of having to try to find the badger sometimes. Kyle Brustin Ortman uh, on ESPN Madison, um, 844-770-3776. Uh, we talked about it in the Sports Center with Alex Strofe. Marquette and Wisconsin are in the same region. Now, in order for them to meet,
Marquette in the Elite Eight, I would I, I I couldn't I couldn't deal with what would come at me if the Badgers lost. But don't you think it's worth it? Because I feel like when Wisconsin loses to Marquette in basketball, it's painful. But the pain experienced by Marquette fans when they lose to Wisconsin, it's visceral. I mean, I feel like they feel it. Everything about Marquette basketball fans, they are, it's all they got, right? It it's all they all got. It's all that they have. It's all they got. Their full identity is wrapped up in it. So when Wisconsin beats Marquette, oh, it is a good feeling because they just wallow. They wallow in their defeat. So it's worth it. It's worth putting Ben's, you know, comfortability on the line for that sweet, sweet taste of a Wisconsin victory. I mean, even when Marquette loses to Wisconsin, they refuse to pay on bets. Like, Jen, she finally paid on it halfway last halfway. week, two weeks as, ago. As, always, as everything happens around here, I lose a bet. We, we, we live, or not even lose a bet. We put ourselves on the line. We jump in Lake Michigan when the Packers go uh, make the playoffs, right? And I actually made that bet. That for you guys. You guys didn't even know you were going to be jumping in Lake Michigan until I was, I said, in, I was jumping in Lake Michigan. I was relaxing. And I came Your mom had to tell you. Yeah, she did. Um, Alex Strofe, after hearing the fan perspective and hearing somebody who, you know, played in the, in the tournament, wore the jersey, knowing the ramifications cool. of an Elite Eight game. <laughs> I had to do that. <laughs> Good usage of cool. Um, where do you stand? Do you want to see it? Because I have convinced myself I don't think I could see it because the idea of having to put up with the already annoying Marquette fans who have nothing else going on in their life except to root for their team that hasn't gone to the Final Four but since Benny, 2003, but I couldn't Benny, do it. I understand it would, be, it would be really tough to listen to Brian D., who I know you've had on the show many times uh, all week because he, he might be the most annoying Mar- Marquette fan. Wisconsin doesn't lose to Marquette. He doesn't Benny. bother me because but, but, he, he's as irrelevant as uh, as the team is in the tournament. Yeah, that's oh, wow. it's fair. Yeah, first off, Marquette <laughs> needs to win what three tournament games to get to the Elite Eight. We know that's not going to happen. Um, but secondly, oh, Wisconsin doesn't hater there. Wisconsin doesn't lose to Marquette. They won one tournament game in ten years. Yeah, how's years? that a hater? That's a fact, Kyle. They don't They're win the same games in March. They were last year. Wait, wait a minute. What we not going to do? We not going to do? Listen, I am a bandwagon Marquette fan, a former employee of Marquette as well. Y'all not going? <laughs> y'all not going to trash my former. Employee. Keyword I former. Love. Keyword former. I, former. I, I, I left for I left for a greater opportunity, but I still love my people. There. What we not gonna do? We not gonna talk about act like Jarrell McNeil, Wesley Matthews. Oh my gosh, that was twenty okay. years ago. Names. No, who cares about no, that? No, because that was I was in college when that was happening. So y'all talking about oh, it was so congrats long ago. on all it's, those guys having great pro it's, careers. That's it's, all Marquette cares about. This is tournament time. I don't care about players. So what Let's I'm go, saying, Betty. those guys made it to the Sweet Sixteen. They made sweet it to the Sweet Sixteen. 16 as well. Congratulations, back to back Final that, Fours. You Kyle. haven't done it since 2003. You sound like all the rest of them that celebrate nothing. No, what I'm saying is we're trying as a team and player success in the future. Future. I feel like Marquette's had 2003 and 1971. No. That's it. Uh, y'all, again, y'all disrespect. <laughs> you're, not hel- you're not helping yourself dis- at all, Kyle. Mar- Mar- <laughs> Do you remember Jarrell McNeil? No. I mean, all right, listen. What here, a name drop. Hey, did you guys know Dwayne Wade know. played at Marquette? <laughs> 2003. I didn't know I was going to find myself defending Marquette. Marquette had some dark ages because they had Wojo in. He wasn't a great coach. Shaka Smart comes in, and the program's starting to turn around. They won a tournament game last year. They're a two-seat again this year. They're, listen, it takes... It takes time. It takes time to build a winner. He had to change. Stroke, how good was Shaka in the tournament post VCU? Oh, stop mm. it! Stop Not it! Not great. I, you know what? Now I, I can't. I hope Marquette <laughs> makes it to the Sweet. I hope this happens. Like I really hope this happens because I want y'all to shut up and understand that. I, what I see is this. Honestly, I think Marquette's position in a better position for the next five years than Wisconsin is. Posi- That's a bad producer right there. It's position for the next five <laughs> years as well. I think that Marquette, based off their coaching, based off the recruiting, based off the talent that they've been able to get, is that Marquette is trending in a better direction in the Badgers because you know what they have? They've had consistency. Whereas when you look at the Wisconsin Badgers, we've been too up and down. So I'll say this. Marquette is actually in the a better position. The Badgers won the Big Ten regular season title two years in, ago. And then what happened the year after that? Wait, and then what happened this year when they were doing so well? They Marquette, literally made it to the good for like Marquette, two years. No, Mar- no, who? Mar- Marquette. Because they the Badgers got Shaka's, good for like this is Shaka's years. third year, and I'm saying they got a coach in, and all of a sudden, after sucking for about four seasons with Coach Wojo, what happened? Marquette got Shaka. Hey, uh, uh, Stroke, can you better. get the Golden Eagle fight song out for Kyle? Because no, uh, we're not going to disrespect my boy Shaka. Yeah, we're see, not there it is. Shaka, my, oh, you like we, Shaka. We, Shaka's cool. Kyle, Shaka's who, a great who coach. are you rooting for if I'm, this happens? I'm rooting for the Wisconsin it Badgers. Like, no, it no, no. Like he, he did the entire segment, Brad, acting as if he graduated from Marquette. He's just a listener. Don't turn on him. 
You, you trying to turn I'm me into a fraud again. I'm an like apologist. You are for Marquette. I'm not an apologist for Marquette, but I just want us to understand the facts that it takes time to build up. It takes time to build up a winner. And Shaka Smart is doing a very good job getting this program from not being able. Listen, to get a the program. Music they won, is so good. They won the Big East title last year. In the ben Hurst here alongside Brad Norman, Shaka Smart apologist Kyle Wallace. Take over. The team was bad a couple years ago, and now they're, they're Big East champions last year, won the tourney last year, and then they went to the finals this year for the Big East tourney. We have to give credit where credit is due, and Shaka Smart is making Nobody it. Nobody cares what you do unless you win in the tournament. That no, is a fact of college tournament. basketball. I was cheering for the dang NIT last year for the Badgers. You know how upsetting that is? It should be upsetting. I, I, look, listen, at the end of the day, Shaka Smart is doing better than Greg Gard. How? <laughs> what has he done in the tournament? In three, in three, in, How? In, three, in the last three seasons, which team has been better in the last three seasons? It doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? That's the most. If, that's the if, recency that you have. Shaka's only been here for this is fourth year, and the team is doing for, is third, third year. Third year, and the team has been phenomenal. Oh, settle down. I'm sorry. It's okay. Kyle, but you're the championships guy, right? You want Packers only yeah. the Super Bowls? So, Neither so, team has so, won a championship. So, so so if we're talking about championships, Wisconsin ain't they won a championship since the 40s. I got a crazy Marquette uh, alum guy with a – this is – this is he. holy cow, this this office has done something to him. No, yeah, I, I told you. I, we're not going to disrespect Marquette. You're not going to disrespect Shaka. We're not going to disrespect Marquette. I love working there. We're not going to disrespect them as if they ain't turning it well, around. Well, all I'm doing the rest of the week is disrespecting the heck out of them. <laughs> uh, and I can't wait to do it just to see you go crazy. And a Wisconsin. Wisconsin guy, I don't do that to Shaka. Uh, dude, I like Shaka, but I call a spade a spade. He sucked in the tournament at Texas, and they blew it against Michigan State. And guess what? They can do it again against Florida in the second round here again. Strofe, are you remembered for what you do in the regular season, the conference tournament, or what you do in the NCAA tournament? Fair uh, or unfair? Uh, I, I think it's completely fair, and, and to be real no, honest I'm saying with you. fair or unfair, it's the truth. Like, the truth is what? Oh, the truth is you're remembered for what you do in the tournament, of course. And ultimately, okay, that's, so that's how he got jobs, right? Like, he was great at VCU. He got the job at Texas. And you're right, Kyle. He's done a really nice job at Marquette. And I think we can all agree we like Shaka. But he hasn't done it in the tournament since he's been at VCU. And, and for instance, I couldn't tell you what season the Badgers under Bo Ryan won the Big Ten regular season or championship. Powerful. I can tell you the na- the years they went to the Final Four. Uh, I, can t- I can tell you this right now. Uh, they got to, yes, we got to two Final Fours back to back. Shout out, that's fantastic. I'm not I'm not taking that away. I'm just saying this. That was how long ago? They also the, so, shut up. That, no, that, no, no, answer the question. They, they, the Badgers went to six of seven Sweet Sixteens, and yes. They haven't been back to a Sweet 16 in a while, but they we make, the, make the damn tournament. We, I think we, I think we missed the tournament twice. Talk about recency bias. Did we miss the tournament twice in the last five years? They've, they've, they've made oh, 23 of the last 25. 23 of the last 25, Kyle. No, the, the, the expectation for me is that the Badgers are always going to be in the tournament. So What's your expectation for Marquette? Because it sounds like you like them more than Badgers no, what, based off what they've done. If you guys are you guys are idiots if you don't believe that the if you don't believe that Marquette is more consistent than Wisconsin is right now, the last three seasons. You you are out of your freaking mind. If You're you, out if of your you mind. Want, if you want to do this, you could look at what their tournament wins are the last three years. Oh my god. They have the same amount. Same I'm amount. Not sure three up three years is long enough to be a but, consistent. But same amount of tournament play. wins. The no, last three a, years, despite the Badgers missing, you know why this will powerful. be. A good, you know why this will be a good sample size is because in three years, coaches get fired in three years. It's the fact that this is his third year. The fact that this team has went to the NCAA tournament. Uh, uh, don't, don't look at your notes. I don't care what After, they've done. At, wait, Mark. I know was, what they've done. They turned, haven't done crap he, in the tournament. That's he, all people care about. And watching you, dog, like, give them some shaka. Time. I give mean, him some you treat time. him like he's Jordan Love. No, I'm treating Holy him as if cow. Give, give him some time. Give this, give this team you some are, time. You are Mr. Wisconsin because you will do anything. If the Wisconsin to, you're, you're like, Oh, if Shaka's listening, I got to make sure he likes me. I'm Kyle Wallace. No, I just love Wisconsin. He's from Wisconsin. Don't say anything bad about Marquette. If Wisconsin was to Cheers be able to, to win. and pour one out oh. next. I'm pouring one out to and our I'm- co-host who <laughs> sucks. This is Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN. He was the the lead in the what's that the girl softball movie, the B- Bernstein Bears. What's it called? Eight hundred. What? Tom Hanks. That movie. There's no crime in baseball. What yeah, was that was a league of their own. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Not bad news, Bears. <laughs> the Bernstein Bears, like the, the Bernstein Bears. Bro, you're done. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com.
Make it a real Mad March with a playoff payout at Potawatomi. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Potawatomi, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit PaysBig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. It's time for the Milwaukee Basketball Report on 100.5 ESPN. Brought to you by Bud Light. Lillard's going to tee up a three, and he splashes it through for the left wing. The choice to enjoy is easy. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. It was the Bobby Porter Show on Sunday at Pfizer Forum as the crowd was chanting Bobby, Bobby, Bobby with every shot. Lillard the other way feeds it off. Portis fires up another three, and he tickles the twine yet one more time. He is a flamethrower today. Bobby Portis, 22 points in this half. He'd finish with 31 in the game, a 140-129 to Bucks win over the Suns. Chris Middleton also returning to the lineup for the first time since February 6th. He puts up 22 points on 8 of 15 shooting in the win as well. Next up, Bucks are in Boston for a big matchup against the Celtics. That one tips off Wednesday at 6.30. This has been your Milwaukee Basketball Report on Madison's home for Bucks basketball. 100.5 ESPN, brought to you by Bud Light. What does it take to make a diamond? Extreme heat and pressure and about a billion years. But you can't wait that long. What do you do? You go to Goodman's Jewelers. I'm John Hayes from Goodman's Jewelers. There's a reason we are the Diamond Store of Madison. Since 1933, we provided outstanding service and selection to our customers. And that in turn has helped to establish countless great memories through the years. Goodman'sJewelers.com, located at 220 State Street. Truly a destination worth reaching. Time to start thinking about a summer job? Jesse Nelson here, and Madison School and Community Recreation is now hiring for many positions, including day camp and youth program leaders, outdoor adventure staff, support staff for individuals with disabilities, sports instructors and officials, and more. Full and part-time positions with daytime and evening hours are available. No matter your interest, schedule, or location, there's a position for everyone. At MSCR, you can make an immediate impact in the community and gain meaningful experience. Start your summer adventure today. Apply at MSCR.org. The GRB Rays have established themselves as one of the top baseball programs in the Midwest and the country. GRB Academy offers training programs for players of all ages and skill levels. Learn from some of the best baseball coaches in the area and find the program that fits your training goals and your schedule. Spots are filling up fast, so visit grbacademy.com to sign up now. That's grbacademy.com. GRB Academy, baseball for the serious player. At Gruber Law Offices, we take great pride in helping those who have trusted us after a serious accident. Our team has the knowledge, resources, and experience to get you the results you deserve. Don't wait to get the help you need. Make the right call. Call Gruber Law Offices today. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. Join the Madison Money Guy, Christian Finfrock, for Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Get the information you need as you plan for retirement. That's Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Investment advisory services offer the Retirement Income Strategies and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. Hey, it's Hunter Vaughn. ESPN Madison and Zimbra Honda are celebrating the area's best high school sports stories with the Game Changers of the Month. Follow ESPN Madison on social media to see teams making an impact in their community. Nominate your local team today at ESPNMadisonGameChangers.com. This is Kyle, Brust, and Nortman, sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand. So is your chance at proving your hoops knowledge. It's the ESPN Wisconsin Bracket Challenge, presented by Cousin Sub. Fill out a bracket, earn the most points at the end of the tournament, and get one a $1,000, that's right, $1,000 gift card of Cousin's Sub. Fill out your bracket on ESPN.com or the ESPN Tournament Challenge app. Just search ESPN Wisconsin and enter the password Cousins. That's all lowercase, Cousins. It's the ESPN Wisconsin Bracket Challenge, presented by Cousin Subs. They believe even better. Visit ESPNWisconsinContest.com for full rules and details. 
That's Brad Norman. I'm Ben Brust alongside Marquette graduate, Marquette lover, Kyle Wallace. <laughs> Alex Strofe running the show. You're going to hate me today. I mean, I, again, my I'm not going to lie to you. I was a Marquette bandwagon fan, then I worked there, and I'm telling you, I used to have so much disdain for Marquette students. I just like, stop, stop it. Stop loving your school so much. Okay, they're annoying. But then I worked there, and I started drinking a Kool-Aid. I'm telling you, it is something. Oh, this, it is you know what? Kool-Aid. He reminds me a lot that. of a Marquette basketball there fan. Is yeah, he something does. Annoying different. and insufferable. Listen, yep. there is something different when you go to that university and the way they just make you feel like you're just this great person, top oh. 100 school. I, I, I used to go on the East Coast and recruit. They're like, oh, my gosh, Marquette. I'm like, yeah, what's up? How, how may I help you? Like, it is something about that Marquette Kool-Aid <laughs> that I love it's, to drink. It's such, a, it's such like, you know, Marquette it's private. It's, you know, it's, pr- it's private. It's yeah. private school type energy, you know? Yeah. And Kyle, we Kyle all, got, we all love Kyle each got other. a taste of that country club life. I, I sure did. Country I'm telling club. you. Boy, oh boy, I'm telling you. It was, it was different. It was different. Bunch I'm like, of preppy oh, wait a minute. Dorks. We're, Wait, wait a minute, we're uh, we're we're, we're now we're I know a why he dresses party. like this Private on the show. School, now man. you know he dresses he dresses like you. he worked at Marquette. He does trying to he impress really all does. those uh, those preppy private school people. Don't get mad because I'm fine and handsome now. No, I didn't say anything like that at all. Um, nowhere nowhere near what was going to come out of my mouth next. Am what I, I was going to say, today, what I was going to say is uh, my girlfriend went to Marquette. She doesn't even know when they play basketball games. Jeez. And that is why uh, we are able to get along because she does not give a crap. She like she and it, she still can't even understand like why people like care about their alma mater like in sports. I'm like, yes, that's that's helpful. I can't imagine you with an avid. I've met some avid, avid. Marquette females. Don't no, know if I could do that. No, I couldn't do it either. That'd yeah. be too much. It's just it's just overbearing and overwhelming, and yeah, it no. reminds me a lot of Kyle. No, I recall. Oh, oh wow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I can I can relate to that. I, I guess once I was blind, and then I went there and I understood why they felt that way. That's all they have. For the record, and they won a championship in 1970. Some. What if and when these two meet in the elite? You are rooting for who? Well, um, there's a, there's a pause. There, no, here's the thing. You're pausing. Uh, if you ask me right at uh, three o'clock, I would have said go. This Bucky. is a, this is but a point, the Brad. Now, we have the now, power no. to sway what he will do because no, he's he's deep no, down inside. He's becoming one of no, them. I ain't one of them. I just don't like the way y'all came at me. You know what I'm saying? It, it just despite y'all, but no, honestly, come on now. I want Bucky to win. I want the Badgers to win. When I see, I don't believe it. No, I, truthfully, I, no. I I want the Badgers. I when the Marquette Golden Eagles lose, I am not frustrated. When I'm watching Marquette basketball, I'm not jumping up and down in the living room saying, let's go. When Chucky Hepburn had that, had that layup to score, to force overtime, I wasn't mm. sitting there dancing like, let's go! Here we go, baby! Let's go! I, I don't say that for Marquette. I am a Badger fan. Don't buy anything he just said, but it's time to, as we do every Monday, cheers to and pour one out. The weekend is over, so let's pop some bottles. It's time for cheers to and pour one out. On Kyle, Brust, and Nortman. It is Cheers 2 and Pour One Out, where we take a gander at what happened in the weekend, and we bring you KBN Nation. You can chime in as well, 844-770-3776, with things we want to celebrate and things we want to pour one out to. Kyle? Well, you know, I'm going to just continue on with this selfish move. I got to sit courtside. I've been typing myself up. You know, me and Thanasis is cool. So let me just hype up South Dakota State men's basketball team. Y'all know why I want to say that? You know somebody who played for the My team. My little cousin played for South Dakota State, and they made the tournament. So I can't wait to see the little cuz. He, I mean, he's redshirted this year. But I can't wait to see the little cuz. Oh, man, if on he the played, beach. this would be acceptable. Nah, I know. Shout out to Luke. This is a big deal. Little kid, little kid from Milwaukee getting to go to the NCAA tournament. So let me show some love to the uh, – uh, You don't even know the, the, the logo. The logo, the Jackrabbit? Stop playing with me. I was going to say show love to the MPS graduate, all-conference kid, all-state kid last year, now at South Dakota State. I'm going to show some love to him and go Jackrabbit, pull off the 215 upset. Who are they playing? Who's their matchup? I I forgot. (sighs) What? (laughs) They're going to (laughs) lose. You never know. All right, well, I'm going to grab my car right here. I'm going to raise. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Iowa State. I don't even know who will win. Okay. Never know. I'm going to cheers to the start of my second favorite season of the sports calendar. I love football season, number one, easily. There's a little bit of a lull after the Super Bowl, but now we got March Madness, Brewers opening day, the Masters and NBA playoffs. This kicks off a wonderful time to be a sports fan with all those great sporting events upcoming. I'm starting to get re-energized. I'm excited for it. I'm ready to put March Madness directly into these veins, kicking off one of my favorite times 
games of the year of all these different great events. I'm going to say cheers to uh, the NCAA tournament as well. I got like, look, this this is what I live for. Um, I'm going to cheers to the boosted parlay at Potawatomi Casino Hotel. You can get Ben Bruss best bet on their website, on their kiosks. Make sure you go check those out. Um, I love the fact that I'm going to bet every single game of Thursday and Friday. I love the fact that there's games with three screens on the television at home. I'm going selfish like Kyle. There is nothing better than that Thursday and Friday. It makes me think of when we were all in school. I don't know if you guys... I mean, oh, you yeah. guys, the, the, the peop, Strofe doesn't know this. When they had to roll the TV out, roll the Great TV TV. out. The, the TV cart. Yep. I'm not yeah, that young. Called the they guy. Yeah, you probably had flat screen TVs. We no, we did not. Didn't have flat screen. Yep. Y'all didn't have TV cart, Strofe. You were born yes, in like 98. Yes, we did. VHSs. Have... <laughs> what type of poor ass school did you go to? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair hey, point. In, in, two, in 2010, y'all got the, the, they still rolling out the little cart? Bro, in 2008 in Green Bay, when we watched the Barack Obama inauguration, it was on like a box TV on a cart. Oh, wow. How old were you in 2008? What grade were you in? I would have been in fourth fourth grade, I think. Third grade? I I was was like nine or ten. Shout out to Green Bay School District. I hope they do a referendum to raise taxes. We can't have y'all out there using them, them box TVs. Yeah, right right now, um, they just discover what, like, Blu-ray is for DVDs. Bro, that there. school district is on their third superintendent this school year. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, that's tough. Oh, uh, it is. That that's is not good. Uh, pour one out next. Pour yeah, it out to yeah. Green Bay's uh, superintendent <laughs> in the uh, school district. Uh, Kyle, go. Yeah, pour one out to St. John's. Pittsburgh, Memphis, Ole Miss, and Oklahoma for not making an NCAA tournament and thinking they're all high and mighty and not actually accepting the bid to play in the NIT. I say pour one out to those teams who thinking that when we expanded to 68 and you think you should have a gripe amount not getting in, come on now. Play better, be better. Take the opportunity to let the kids play. I just say pour one out to those schools and those teams who are not playing in the, NCAA, so in the NIT tournament. I'm, I'm going to pour one out to the guy who pushes the buttons for the Atlantic 10 championship. Because when, when Duquesne and VCU played one another, my man pressed the wrong button and streamers fell. Championship streamers fell when there were 18 minutes to go in the second half. And all of a sudden, streamers just started to fall from the top of the roof. So and these guys had to stop play and clean them all up and all that kind of stuff. So when Duquesne and BCU played one another, streamers fell with 18 minutes to go in the second half. My man pushed the wrong button. Poor one out to you. That's a bad look to make national TV for. Ernie in a barn near Elroy. Ask Kyle how many women's and men's hockey teams have won NCAA championships at Marquette. Now, what I will say is I'm going to pour one out to Kyle. And I do have control of this microphone, which is funny. I'll turn you back up. Um, Thank you, sir. You're welcome. My favorite thing about this whole Wisconsin Marquette thing is like when people bring up that Marquette doesn't have football, it makes it even more embarrassing that they have one win in, in 11 years in the NCAA tournament. It makes it even more embarrassing of that drought that they went on. It makes it even more embarrassing that they haven't been to a Final Four since, since 2003. You know why? Because they don't have football, and they put all of the resources to basketball, and they still can't find a way to go far in the tournament. Listen, I used to sound well like said. you years ago, and then I worked. Yeah, it no, and, and, and I'm changed. pouring one out to you, Kyle Wallace, who I enjoyed being on the show with until I didn't know he was a preppy, stuck-up uh, Marquette well, person who... Accusation? No, I mean, that's literally... Pour one out to Kyle's credibility wait and fandom. Minute. Again, oh, wait that's wait Adam in the 608. I don't have, you are ma- you are laying your bet. I just wanted to I want people to understand that I am a Badger fan. When it comes to basketball and football, I know all the ins and outs of the Mad City I Brews. Dang, no love for Kyle Wallace today. I, yeah, yeah, I'm I, with you. I love the Wisconsin Badgers, but also if Marquette is good, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon of my local team. That's what I'm going to do. That sounds about right. Mr. Bandwagon, no backbone. We'll go where the wind takes him, wherever the uh, wherever the winning's happening. He has no backbone. His name is Kyle Wallace, and I pour one out to that man because we have to do a show with him Monday through Friday. God bless Craig for those two hours on Sunday Karma. That's it for Cheers to and pour one out unless we missed anything that Strofe wants to add. I just wanted to cheers to Anthony Black and Grady Dick for the greatest jersey swap of all time last night in the NBA as the Raptors and Magic faced one another. That's all. What a fitting transition. Jason Wildey joins us next. (laughs) 
You're listening to Kyle Brust and Nortman, KBN. Oh, no, not Coach Booty. People said yes, good riddance. <laughs> he didn't do enough. <laughs> Not Coach Bud, but Coach, Coach Booty. booty. <laughs> it, they call him hey, Booty, Bud. It is Bud. Did they call him Coach Booty? Bud. You know when I said Booty. Only his friends call him when Booty. I said, on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Ben Brust here for Zimbrick European off the Beltline at Rimrock Road. It's been over four and a half years I've worked with Zimbrick European, and it's time for you to stop on by and check out all the inventory they have to offer. You can also go to ZimbrickEuropean.com for certified pre-owns, Mercedes, Audi, Porsche, electric vehicles. They literally have it all for you. It's your one-stop shop. Don't forget about Mercedes-Benz Sprinter vans as well. Zimbrick European off the belt line at Rimrock Road. Check it out. You will enjoy it. Life's better with American Family Insurance because our home policies help protect your dreams and come with peace of mind. Save up to 25% by bundling home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at amfam.com. Products not available in every state. Discounts may not apply to all coverages on an auto or home policy. Discounts do not apply to life insurance policies. Visit amfam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating companies, American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Getting up to 5% back is easy at Fleet Farm. Fleet Rewards members can earn up to 5% back on every purchase, in-store and online. The earnings stack up automatically. The more you buy, the more you earn. No rebates, no coupons, no hassles. And Fleet Rewards membership is easy. So sign up now and start earning up to 5% back on everything you need for everyday life at Fleet Farm. Some exclusions apply. If you're looking for a special piece of jewelry for any occasion, Condon Jewelers is always there for you. Condon Jewelers has the best selection of jewelry you'll ever find and guaranteed to have the lowest prices in the Madison area. Free shipping is always available. Visit CondonJeweler.com or call 241-3406 and ask for Jim, the owner, who's at the store every day. Shop locally. Condon Jewelers, the jeweler on the east side, the jeweler on your side. Need more comfort in your life? Craving a craft meal in a warm and welcoming atmosphere? Well, enjoy the comforts of the Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company. From classics like the chicken pot pie or the pub burger to countless handcrafted beers, the Great Dane Pub has everything you need. With four convenient Madison area locations, downtown, Hilldale, Fitchburg, or East Madison, there's a Great Dane to satisfy your comfort cravings near you. Visit GreatDanePub.com for more information. Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company, Madison's original brew pub since 1994. No more waiting to see a general surgeon. Stoughton Health has you covered. We accept over 160 insurances, including Anthem Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Cigna, Dean Health Plan, Humana, and Quartz. Enjoy easy access at Stoughton Health, where most general surgery appointments are available within a week. When it comes to your procedure, trust board-certified general surgeon, Dr. Aaron Schwab. At Stoughton Health, we are proud to provide you with exceptional, personalized service. Learn more at StoughtonHealth.com. For official rules and more information about every contest on 100.5 ESPN, visit ESPNWisconsinContest.com. That's ESPNWisconsinContest.com. You're listening to 100.5 ESPN and the ESPN app. From the biggest plays on the court to the comments made in the locker room after, an in-depth recap of every Bucks game in six minutes. No more, no less. Bucks in six provides game recaps for every game. Hear the high-flying dunks from Giannis. Puts it on the floor, spins down the lane, and plunges it through. Or the deep threes from Dane. Dane time has arrived with 107. Bucks in six on the Bucks Plus Audio Network. Find it now on bucks.com slash plus or on Spotify, Apple, and wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, it's Hunter Vaughn. ESPN Madison and Zimbrick Honda are celebrating the area's best high school sports stories with the Game Changers of the Month. Follow ESPN Madison on social media to see teams making an impact in their community. Nominate your local team today at ESPNMadisonGameChangers.com. This is Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN, on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Every Saturday night that you ain't keep my tears blow. Kyle Brust and Norman. I'm Ben Brust alongside former NFL punter, longtime NFL punter, second place Brad Norman, Wisconsin backer, 
Now turn Marquette oh, supporter on, Kyle on, Wallace man. here with me. The slander is real here, Jason. And I'm it's real. Ben Bruss, Be careful. As we're joined by Jason Wildey here. Jason, how are you? I'm great. What am I stepping into today with you three? Well, I mean, like, when it comes to Marquette, I like to have fun with the fact that they've won one tournament game in 11 years. And Kyle worked at the university, and I would have thought that he became a graduate of Marquette uh, based off the fact of how he uh, defended them. And I'll just ask you, do you want to see, if you could, the Badgers and Marquette in the Elite Eight? Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Because, you know why, Ben? What are you ben? for? It's good for the state. Uh, I'm, I'm rooting for a good game. Um, so here's why, and, and Ben and, uh, Brad, I hope you'll understand where Kyle and I are coming from, because even though I am a Wisconsin alum, even though there are those at Marquette who won't even use red binders, who get a little bit apoplectic about anything red, That's we're better so than that. Petty, and we can want, Jason, you're right, we you're can right. want we can want our division one brethren to succeed and uh, have success. I really, I I like Shaka smart a ton. Uh, A lot of the stuff that he talks about and he does, I like to try and incorporate into Sid's team. So I, I really, I would love to see them meet in the elite eight. I would, then I would prefer to see, my guy Greg Gard, who's taken a lot of shrapnel uh, of late, and I'm really glad that they had the performance they did in the Big Ten tournament. Um, I would still want to see Wisconsin advance, of course, because I am an alum and I get to be a Badger basketball fan because I don't cover them. Um, but I, I, I want to see Marquette succeed. And I, w- I wish that more Marquette alumni and fans felt the same way about the Badgers, but it, it just – it just seems like they don't, and that's You'll fine. You'll have to ask that's Kyle because, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, I can tell you this, yeah. Uh, uh, he is absolutely right. Marquette fans cannot stand Wisconsin Badgers fans. It's the craziest thing. Yeah, we're better than that, though. We're just – we're better than that. We're, we're better than that to be that petty. Yep, exactly. Right, Brad? Uh, that, that's exactly right. We, uh, we are above board in that scenario. And I, I want to get okay. your take on the Devondre Campbell tweets from this weekend because – Jason, I, I'm not going to lie. I, you know, I had my retirement speech on Wilde and Tausch before I was doing this full time. So you're a little bit familiar with my career. But, man, I felt with Devondre Campbell because I was asked to do that countless times in the NFL as well. Put team before self. Put team before stats. Maybe if you don't agree with it, you try to do it, and you're a casualty in the end. So wh- where do you see these tweets with Devondre Campbell? as far as impact on the players and kind of who's in the right. Is it him or Joe Barry? Uh, well, wait a minute now. How did this – How? what is the parallel between you and Devondre Campbell? Because Ooh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I'm yeah, struggling yeah, a little brief. bit with that. Because he uh, – I'll, I'll keep it what brief, What bothered Jason. me so – I was in, <laughs> Okay. Well, I'll keep it really brief. In 2017, my final year at the Jags, um, things were going well. We had an elite defense, average offense, above average special teams. And basically, the whole thing was we can't give up big plays. We can't give up points. We're playing field position. We cannot give up impact plays. So for the punt team, that meant no 60-yard bombs, which would help my stats. It was 40 to 50-yard fair catches and everything very manageable, high hang time, out of bounds. When I got released at the end of the season, they say, look, it's kind of cap hit, and your, your stats struggled and all year they were saying be the team guy we know what you're doing don't worry about stats yeah i I, look i i would say um that devondre campbell didn't seem capable of acknowledging any of his own shortcomings there um you you know he basically he basically came out and said that his lack of success before he got to green bay was that he was being misused by Atlanta and Arizona. And then he had a first-team all-pro season because, as he explained it, he he just did whatever he wanted. And then when he had to do what the coaches wanted him to do in 22 and 23, uh, that's why his production went down and that's why he got cut. The problem with that is that, in my opinion, because I always want players to be open and vocal and honest, and share their thoughts and certainly their frustrations. 
and their critiques is that it would mean a lot more if you at least acknowledged some of your failure was because of you, right? Like you didn't miss tackle solely because of the way you were being deployed. Um, I just thought it was, uh, it's strange that the guys played in the league now eight years and seven of the eight years, it was him being misused. And the one year that he just did whatever he wanted, uh, he was the first team all pro. I just, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't buy that. I think that that's uh, not a whole lot of uh, self scrutiny. Um, and so I, I think what he, there's a lot that he says in that lengthy series of tweets that I think has some clear truth to it uh, and is really interesting. I just think he undercuts it by making it seem like it's everyone's fault but his that seven of his eight seasons were not first team all pro level and basically suggests that, uh, you know, had they just let him do whatever he wanted, he would have been a great player. I, I just, I don't, I don't buy that. I do think that there was dysfunction on that side of the ball. Uh, and so mm-hmm. the idea of, of the things that he talks about in there, that all is very believable, not wanting feedback. I mean, okay. look, if we pulled the guys, I'm sure Darnell Savage feels that way. I'm sure Jair Alexander feels that way. Uh, I bet Kenny Clark, while he's still employed by the team, would probably say, I'm just really excited about the new, you know, the new direction we're headed in and would be too nice to say anything negative. So I don't think that there's a problem with the accuracy of a lot of things he said. I just think it's important to acknowledge your own shortcomings along with everyone else's. Instead of making it sound like, It's everybody's fault except yours. Jason, with Jordan Love now kind of ascending in the NFL, do you think this is a new beginning for the Green Bay Packers and signing free agents in the sense of guys wanting to play with Jordan, just like kind of wanted to play with Aaron Rodgers? Do you think this is a trend in the right direction for the Green Bay Packers? It certainly doesn't hurt, Kyle. But, I mean, you know, I, I actually wrote about that for Sunday State Journal, too. And I do think it's important to point out, um, that the Packers made a superior financial offer to Xavier McKinney and I think guaranteed more money than any of the other would-be suitors were for Josh Jacobs. And Josh Jacobs also mentioned uh, how much he liked Rich Bisaccia and how that factored in to him coming to Green Bay as well. So hey, good to see I think him help Jordan Love is definitely a... – <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, 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 just, I, I think Jordan Love is a selling point. I don't think after nine games – of success he's reached the point where you know you're you're going to take less money to go play with jordan love because uh you know he's just he's going to be so great you know you might do that with for a chance to play with patrick mahomes um but jordan's got a little ways to go yet before i think you can start seeing guys saying hey i got a bigger offer from team x but i chose the packers because they've got this young stud quarterback maybe that's next off season maybe that's the off season after that but I'm not disputing the fact that, that both their two big-ticket free agents, Josh Jacobs and Xavier McKinney, both m- mentioned, and I think honestly, that you know them having Jordan Love as an ascending quarterback was certainly a selling point in the pro column of a pros and cons list for coming to the Packers. Uh, Jason Wilde joining us here on Kyle, Brust, and Norman. Ben Brust, Kyle Wallace, Brad Norman. Um, I would like to give you my four greatest needs in order for the Green Bay Packers, and I want you to break it down oh, if oh. you agree or disagree. Oh, the Packers. Linebacker. I thought these were going to be yours. Yes. No. I mean, uh, well, there's, there's, he there's, needs more than yeah, four. Oh. More than four for sure. <laughs> uh, linebacker, oh, exactly. defensive line, safety, and O-line still. Yeah, I, look, I think defensive line is actually a kind of a sneaky one because uh, T.J. Slayton and um, Kenny Clark are both in the final years of their deals. And Kenny Clark, even though he's going into his ninth season, which is crazy, uh, he's still only 28 Still years under old. 28. Can you believe that? Or like, like somebody yeah, be... talked about the ages. I couldn't believe that. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, his first NFL season, he was 20. Um, so, yeah, mm. it's, it's pretty remarkable, but... You know, again, he's teetering on the brink of Goody doesn't want you anymore at that age. Uh, and even if he says he's okay with 29-year-old guys, 
or that they're absolutely going to be on the team, then sometimes they're not. So I think that is probably a higher priority um, than maybe we think it is off the top of our heads. Um, but your four, your four needs are the four top ones on the roster. I mean, they, they need to replenish their offensive line depth and give themselves some options there. Remember, it's not just about this year. So uh, Josh Myers is going to be a free agent after this season. What are you going to do with him? Um, I know you're concerned about Royce Newman's future, you know, because you like his uh, his mullet so much. Uh, but you know his future is uncertain too. So they they've got some needs on the offensive line, not only in the short term but longer term. Uh, safety is clearly a need still, even though they got McKinney. I still think they're going to sign another veteran safety on this kind of secondary market where uh, tickets or players are cheap. Um, and you're not paying premium prices to go see the Taylor see that, Swifts Jason? of the. Um, I, I don't know who's. I, I haven't looked closely at who's left, but I think that, you know, they they definitely need to have some more options. Maybe they just bring back Rudy Ford and draft the guy, um, and maybe they feel really good about Anthony Johnson Jr. You know, kind of moving into a role where he could be the starter alongside uh, of McKinney. But you know, as Goody admitted. Guys in the secondary get hurt a lot. And so you better have uh, some options there. I mean, you look at last year, you know, uh, Anthony Johnson Jr. played over 300 snaps. He was one of four safeties that played 300 or more snaps last year. Rudy Ford did, Jonathan Owens did, Darnell Savage did. So they, they need some more help there. But offensive line, defensive line, for sure. Safety, for sure. Um, and then what was the other one that you said? Linebacker? Uh, linebacker, yep. Yeah, I mean, I think they're going to play Quay at one of the outside spots. Probably it will. They're going to play Isaiah McDuffie inside. Um, but, yeah, they, they, they definitely could use another guy or two there, but I'm not sure it's quite as big of a need. I would also caution that edge rusher is a sneaky need. You know, they've got Rashawn mm-hmm. Gary. Preston Smith is back for one more year, I think. Um, I'm, he's the only 30-year-old on the team. Uh, they're excited about Lucas Van Ness. These guys are going to be hand-in-the-dirt defensive ends now, but they aren't going to have Kingsley and Igbari. He tore his ACL at the end of the year. So you can never have enough pass rushers. I wouldn't be surprised if they go that direction uh, and get Tausch's guy chopped if he falls all the way to 25. Well, uh, Jason, really appreciate the insight. Uh, great stuff, and uh, we will catch you on Thursday, all right? All right, guys. Take care. Be good. That's Jason Wilde here on Wilde and Tausch. 9 to noon across ESPN Wisconsin. We will wrap up the ESPN Madison portion of Kyle Brustin Nortman next. This is Kyle Brustin Nortman. Milwaukee County, you need to shovel the pathway to the lake. Okay? <laughs> oh, I, had to, such a... I had to step through snow. Is in Kyle order to get to the lake? I think Kyle's the Karen of the show. I think he's, Kyle, he's high maintenance for I sure. I think Kyle pays taxes in the county of Milwaukee that just went up. So I expect for this stuff to be piled. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. You ra ra Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin present your Badger Minute. Here's Alex Strofe. Varsity on Wisconsin On Demand is home to all the latest and best Badgers content on ESPN Wisconsin. Subscribe on Apple, Spotify, Wisconsin On Demand, and wherever you get your podcasts. For the 15th time in program history, the Wisconsin women's hockey team is headed to the Frozen Four. With a 4-0 win over St. Lawrence at Le bon on Saturday, the reigning national champion Badgers have the opportunity to defend their crown this weekend in Durham, New Hampshire. Wisconsin will face off with Colgate in the Frozen Four, with the winner headed to the national championship game on Sunday. Clarkson and conference foe Ohio State will face off in the other semifinal. Puck drop between Colgate and Wisconsin set for 6.30 this Friday on ESPN+. Get no interest for up to three years at Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Don't wait. You have to order by March 31st. Visit PellaWI.com. It's time for the Milwaukee Basketball Report on 100.5 ESPN. Brought to you by Bud Light. Lillard's going to tee up a three, and he splashes it through for the left wing. The choice to enjoy is easy. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. It was the Bobby Porter Show on Sunday at Pfizer Forum as the crowd was chanting Bobby, Bobby, Bobby with every shot. Lillard the other way feeds it off. Portis fires up another three, and he tickles the twine yet one more time. 
He is a flamethrower today. Bobby Portis, 22 points in this half. He'd finish with 31 in the game, a 140 to 129 Bucks win over the Suns. Chris Middleton also returning to the lineup for the first time since February 6th. He puts up 22 points on 8 of 15 shooting in the win as well. Next up, Bucks are in Boston for a big matchup against the Celtics. That one tips off Wednesday at 6:30. This has been your Milwaukee basketball report on Madison's home for Bucks basketball, 100.5 ESPN. Brought to you by Bud Light. Ben Brust here to tell you about the Princeton Club. I joined the Princeton Club because I was looking for a place I could invest in my health, and the environment and the community I have felt has made it so easy for me to incorporate it into my everyday life. It doesn't matter where you're at in your fitness journey because they have something to offer everyone. It also goes beyond fitness. From the moment you walk in the club to the moment you walk out, there is a togetherness felt throughout the members and staff that keeps you going for your better tomorrow. Don't wait any longer and get started on your fitness journey today at PrincetonClub.net. That's PrincetonClub.net. Whether you're an artist playing accountant, a barista trying to be a bean counter, or a student just looking to get started, the UW Credit Union app lets you be free to be you with free credit scores, free online bill pay, and the ability to send money to friends. Because with fewer fees, you can do more of what you love. UW Credit Union, here for every you. Join today at uwcu.org. Federally insured by NCUA. Hey everyone, Molly Brown here from ESPN Madison. For the best Southwestern food and margaritas in the Madison area, it's always Pasquale's Cantina for me. Whether I'm enjoying my favorite taco salad, their awesome chips and guac, or one of their famous burritos, Pasquale's is the best for authentic Southwestern fare. Plus, they have one of the largest tequila selections around. Visit one of their locations in Verona or Middleton today, or check out their menu and order online at Pasquale'sCantina.com. Bringing the flavors of the Southwest to the Midwest. Pasquale's Cantina. Get your team together. Softball is back for 2024. Jesse Nelson here. Registration for Madison School and Community Recreation's Adult Summer Softball Leagues is now open. Men's, women's, and all-gender slow pitch and women's fast pitch leagues are forming now for the summer season. MSCR Softball Leagues offer fun for every level of player and welcome all participants. Spend your summer evenings with us on the diamond. For more information and to register, go to mscrsportsleagues.org. That's mscrsportsleagues.org. This is Kyle, Brust, and Nortman, sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand. Walking on broken glass. We are Kyle Brust and Nortman. I'm Ben Brust alongside Kyle Wallace, Brad Nortman. I mean, Strofe, you you had to have played this to touch my heart. Oh, of course. You and I have a shared love for this song. I was in the grocery store yesterday, Benny, and uh, this song came on, and I thought of you. Did you start dancing up and down the aisles? Yeah, I was buying chocolate chip muffins, uh, some corned beef and cabbage I made last night. It was great, man. Annie was Annie was fueling my grocery buy. I will say, grocery store bangers. When you hear a song, yeah, like, sneaky good place to hear your song. I kind of agree. That's a fact. That's, that's because, a fact. <laughs> because when you go to the grocery store, it's not exactly like a fun time. Mm-hmm. But like, if you can add a little joy to the skipping around and grabbing some. Uh, some of your favorite snacks? Do you start singing out loud? I would love to, yes. I mean, like, humming, like, not like, ah, but like, mm-hmm. oh, I, I do. I, d- I, I definitely do. have a little pep in my step. Yeah. I'm, I'm bopping around. I'm like, I'm going to go get some vegetables now and some fruit <laughs> and I some bread. I love singing in public. <laughs> um, Me too, Kyle. <laughs> that's Alex Strofe running the show, 844-770-3776. Before we were coming on the air, I actually wanted to ask you, Strofe, if you still had the clip from Thanasis on uh, on our show earlier today, do you have it? I'm doing some bad radio right now. Yeah, you are doing bad radio. I do have it, though, Benny. Yes, I'm a great producer, as Kyle uh, Kyle told me earlier. Uh, so, yeah, I've, Thanasis, I've got it for you. Thanasis on it, Akumbo. Joined Kyle Brustin Nortman, and he got me a little pumped up. Here's what Thanasis had to say. One thing I want to say to the fans is, like, guys, like, I want to see the hunger now. Like, I told you this on my podcast. I want to see the, the 50 years with no with no championship hunger back. We're going on a run. Mm. Come back. Like, I need you guys to make 
Pfizer Forum, the most uncomfortable arena if somebody else come play in. I want them to feel like, oh my God, this is so unwelcoming to come play here, you know? I want to, I want to create that atmosphere. And, and to anybody who's listening to this, you know, let, let them know we're going on a run. And we do, we're going to do our job, but we want them, we need them. You know, not we want them, we need them. Mm -hmm. We need them. I mean, you heard Kyle, mm, pow, powerful, for right, powerful. for real. And, uh, like, Brad, you talked about it. Like, you hear this sound clip, and you're like, oh, that's all great. And, like, I looked him in the eyes. You looked in the eyes. Kyle looked him in the eyes. Did you not feel the authenticity of what he was saying? Oh, I did. And it, it's such a rare occasion to be able to look, you know, at the you know, Thanasis on the Kumpo, Giannis on Friday night, and feel that connection, the electricity, the engagement. Man, I was ready to go out there and be courtside like Kyle Wallace. Screaming. And cheer my getting, face off. Yeah. Because, I mean, they are so engaging. They're so fun. And they just connect with the city of Milwaukee in the state of Wisconsin. So to me, hearing Thanasis like that, it got me excited for Friday night, got me excited for another Bucks championship run too. And speaking of Friday night, you have an opportunity. You heard Thanasis. He's going to be on stage with his brother Giannis. I mean, we talk about like bringing a championship to the state of Wisconsin, the city of Milwaukee for the first time in 50 years. His brother Giannis is going to be on stage with him at Potawatomi Casino Hotel's event center. So go to TALiveshow.com. $43 tickets for uh, Thanasis' name. Family, uh, not name, jersey number. Family friendly. Make sure you go to TALiveshow.com because you can be there at Potawatomi Casino Hotel to enjoy Thanasis and Giannis break down life, basketball, and everything else in between. You don't just get an opportunity for $43 to see the greatest basketball player in the world arguably talk right mm -hmm. there with you there. So get to Milwaukee for that. Uh, it has been Kyle Brustin Ortman uh, on 100.5 ESPN. Ben Brustin. Kyle Wallace, Brad Norman, Alex Strofe, Religion Hamilton, up next from 4 to 6 on ESPN Madison.